Welcome to Dean Denial. Um, I'm IC Stars, otherwise known as Jessica, and I will be your DM tonight for a one shot called Nevermore Heart Winner. I wrote it and I'm super excited and I've never done it DM before and I'm really sorry that these guys are gonna be the first to Yeah, I'm really sorry guys. Just and uh, <laughs> we're gonna start with little introductions. You guys can tell the people who you are, where to find you, and your characters. So, um, let's start with Ricky. Hey guys, I am the crazy gamer lady on TikTok. That's really all you'll be able to find me at. And I am playing Paige Button, the drunken master monk. Alistair? Page button. Yeah, I'm uh, Alistair. Not going to find me anywhere on the internet with that, but uh, I'm playing Char, the uh, College of Whispers bard, right? To cause chaos. Okay. And Kellen? Is it, is it, is it, am I saying it right? Yeah, you got it. Nice. All right, go. Hey, so I'm Kellen. Uh, you can find me on TikTok and here on Twitch as Celtic Wyvern King. Um, I am playing a human warlock, and my character is going to be my hopefully best performance of Sterling Archer, because, woo! Uh, you're not my this supervisor. No, no, you got to, like, really, like, you're not my supervisor. Fine, fine. You're not my supervisor. Thank you so much. That made me really happy. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Dan. I'm the speed of candy on all the internet places. I am playing Meager, our warforged artificer tonight, who's, yeah, a biomechanical and... person. He's... Go ahead. I'm done. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. No, Tell no. me all about your character. It'll come up in game. It's fine. Oh, okay. Go, do your thing. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Okay. Uh, Deadpool. I am Deadpool on TikTok and just changed to the lethargic monkey on Twitch. And I will be playing Belenice. And she is a rabbit folk druid. So I'm yeah. not going to lie. I call you Bellini every time. <laughs> I'm so sorry, <laughs> but like, I'm like, I know it's Bellinus, but it's, it's Bellini. I don't even know how to truly say that name. It was just a cool looking name. Okay. So should we get into this? Are we excited? Mm. Are, we, are we good? So, not, yeah. I'm totally not shaking yeah, sure. and like know what to do with my hands. Cool. All right, guys. Welcome to Rooksbury, a small town on the very outskirts of the London suburbs. Known for its elaborate legends, and its rather odd and sudden appearance a few hundred years ago. Brooksbury is largely avoided by the Londoners as it's said to leave a bad taste in their mouth, almost as if one has taken a large bite out of a raw onion. The people are slightly off and nothing seems to sit quite right with you when you're there. Many say that once they have left the area, the little hairs on the back of their necks stand on end for hours. The town itself is dreary and drab, painted in shades of gray, and it always appears as if it's only just stopped raining. There's a train station in town that no one knows why, because it's never been used. You have been sent to the town of Rooksbury to investigate disappearance of a woman from the next town over by the name of Miss Lenore Annabelle. She's a young woman in her late 20s, known to be exceptionally beautiful. Her skin is flawless, pale, and unmarred. Her cheeks are rosy. She has long curly brown hair and bright green eyes. She's known to be kind but quiet. Her last known whereabouts were one never more heart manner. It was said that she was visiting the master of the house, Mr. Edgar Allen. Miss Annabelle was supposed to have returned home three days ago, but has yet to arrive. Furthermore, approximately four days ago, an anonymous call has, was made to the Metropolitan Police regarding the town of Rooksbury 
and the area of Nevermore Heart Manor. The call, the call was garbled and dropped, but was, what was understood was woman screams and blood, lots of blood. The call itself was written off as a prank call until the disappearance of Miss Annabelle Lee was reported. You arrive at the entrance of Nevermore Heart to find the front gate is slightly ajar. The estate in front of you is just as depressing as the rest of the town. The grass has been removed in favor of cobblestone. The air is crisp and cold and smells of having just rained. Withered plants and cold barren branches of small unhealthy trees are scattered around the place in planters. The gate's hinges whine loudly as you open, as you push open the gate and make your way to the front door. Your footsteps echo ominously and you are, they're the only sound that can be heard. You make it to the front door. What do you do? Ah, uh, great. Let's see how how well this goes. I'm certain whatever the As is going Paige on here will drinks be, from her flask. I'm certain whatever is going on here will be easy for us to suss out the reasoning behind it. Yeah, sure. Whatever you believe. Listen, ma'am, I'm a private investigator here, and I am certain that we'll get to the bottom of this all. So as they're talking, Belenice is just going to walk right in. You're walking into someone's house? Yep. Um, Someone uh, lives there. Should we okay. knock first? <laughs> I, you, I was about to say. You, just uh, turn the, you go to turn the handle and walk in, um, but you didn't check if it was locked, so you kind of just <laughs> right in face first, right off the door. Uh, That's one way to knock. <laughs> I do declare I need an entrance before I'm to enter the premises. <laughs> Are you Hello. still out at the gate? I need an entrance. My entourage has gone ahead of me. This is by far the worst entrance possible. <laughs> Y'all couldn't wait? Is anyone... I mean... Oh. Pretty sure that we're trying to figure out if somebody's dead or not. So if you want to tell us, if you want to wait for your little entourage, have fun. I'm going to go and try and solve this freaking thing. As a famous <sighs> archer at this point, he's going to go, well, as the world's greatest rook, I'm going in and I'm actually going to attempt to kick the door open. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> go for it. Roll for it. All right, just flat strength, or do you want me to roll anything specific? Um, we're going with luck. It's a big, heavy door, guys. It's made out of solid wood. It's a double door. Like, go for it. Where are you kicking to? Oh, I'm kicking in like right near the uh, where the actual door handle is, like right about there, not near the hinges, but where it actually like locks into the door frame. Okay. All right. Um, as you said, I'm rolling luck. Yep, just just straight, just okay. pure d20. I know that I know. I just want to make sure I heard you right. Uh, fourteen. The door splinters. Okay, you kick it. The door splinters, and you hear, "What is going on?" A moment later, you hear footsteps running towards the door, and a man opens the door. He's in his late 50s, dark brown hair, slicked right back. Um, he's got a mustache and a goatee, you know, like a pure evil mustache and goatee. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's wearing a suit, a gray suit that's just trimmed to perfection, right? Um, he's got blood, it has blood red lapels on it and cufflinks and cuffs and all that. And he's got one, he's wearing a monocle. He adjusts it slightly as he looks at you and just scowl, disgust, and just, who are you? I am okay. Belenice, psychic extraordinaire, and goes to walk in. I am here uh, to investigate this He's place. going to step in front of you? Uh, Madam. If we may, first, who are you exactly? 
I am Belenice. I was called here to investigate the spirits or something or another. And who called you, might I ask? I'm not sure. Uh, Off to a strong start. And you meager. are meager. Name's meager. This little guy, he points to this little like mechanical version of himself. This is mini meager. We're here uh, contacted by the parents of uh, one Miss Annabelle. Uh, here to investigate her disappearance. When you say that name and disappearance, his whole posture straightens. I lean over to the little miniature robot version and I go, that's not suspicious at all. I can hear you. I would... You're... No, you can't. And you are... <laughs> he looks at the rest would... of you. Real quick, how close is Meager to the door from uh, Dan when I tried to kick it? How close was he to the door? He was about to knock when you kicked the door down. So he was like right beside you. Right. Oh, awesome. so right now, okay. So this guy thinks that you kicked the door. <laughs> just, just so we're on the same page. Fair enough. What I was going to say was, you know, I'm Sterling Archer, the greatest rook out there. And this guy, point of meager, because he's a war force, is the one who kicked your door. Was it me? Well, what? you'll Damn have to Archer. pay for that. <laughs> Damn it, Archer. Danger what'd zone. You, what'd you say there, Sneeze? <laughs> you will have to pay for that to meager. Do you I'm... have any badges that I can see? Paperwork, something to prove your story? They just and gonna take Charlie, out at this point will walk up badge. behind and just smirk. Oh, we're here to perform the greatest show, and that's called finding everybody that matters. And right now, you don't matter, sir. <laughs> Door just starts to shut on you guys. <laughs> I take out like a little piece of metal, and I'm gonna use magical tinkering to like make it say totally legitimate detective associated with the police and okay I'm so um he's he's gonna take from you he's gonna look it over i'm gonna roll for him he's gonna hand it to you and say he's legit <laughs> he's got a one Okay. <laughs> Good start. And uh, we're going to, he's going to stand back and let you into the first room of the house. So on the screen, you should be able to see, let's see here, the entrance area. No, it's not move, showing up. Use the, click the player thing on roll 20 and move it over to the screen you want us to go to. There's like a little player bookmark. You got to drag it over. Player book. Right. Hey, I'm working on this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Does that work? Yep. Yes. Yeah. I awesome. Yeah, I'm seeing the entrance. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So he'll stand aside and let you all enter that area. Um, do you guys have player tokens? Do you want me to put your tokens in there? I can put mine. You should be able to drag. Everybody should be able to drag their own in to wherever they want on the... Oh my god, it is actually Krieger, too. <laughs> yeah, that's what I used as my token. <laughs> so if you go, if you're on roll 20, if you're not sure how to do it, there's a little like bar, a little sidebar on the right. You, if, if you go to, I think it's called your journal, it's the thing beside the chat box, it looks like a newspaper. There should be your character there. You should be able to just drag it in. Hold on. I'm trying to actually see the screen a little bit better because yeah, I'm trying everyone's to find it. chat names. I learned it all by myself. Screen. You can get rid of that too if you click the gear, scroll hey, I down. I put someone in there for you. Who's this? Sure, lad. If you yeah, want to get rid of the there. people, you can get rid of it by like scrolling down to half the page in the option section and where it says chat avatars, go to names only. Oh, there we go. So one, two, three, four, five. That's everybody. Yep. Yep. There's can me. everyone roll me a perception check? It's a good All right. Start. Well, let me get my. Let me get me where I'm actually standing. There we go. Perception. Can I roll right. for my little robot too? Because he's way better than I am at perception. Sure. Uh, sure. 
Uh, oh, never mind. Oh, uh, this, this is definitely going to be fitting. I got a 19. 19. Okay. <laughs> everyone? Everyone? I, I rolled the, a 9. I got a nat 1. You see oh, yay, someone who did worse you than me. Walk the into the back of, of, uh, <laughs> you walk into the back of Cage and just stumble a little bit. Um, okay, so you are in a very standard like mudway entry room. Um, the floor is a nice hardwood. The walls are covered in deep red wallpaper. There's a small rug on the floor. Uh, you wipe. You guys are told to wipe your feet on it. And I it, press I digitate my feet and clean them. There's a large vase in the corner, and it seems to hold a whole bunch of umbrellas and canes. There's a single gas lamp on the on the wall that's lit. Um, you find with that. Ooh, you, you did good. Okay, so in the um, in the vase with the, what are those called? The canes and the umbrellas. You notice that some of them are made of iron, which is weird, right? Just something to note. Um, you also felt something under your foot as you wiped your feet under the rug. I was stuck being swept under the rug, but I didn't expect to feel it. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. That's about, about an inch or so big, maybe two. The <laughs> he doesn't have even asked his name. The Excuse me, sir, uh, I'm gonna <laughs> ask him now. I was actually gonna say, uh, what was your name again? And also, is there anyone else in the house? We should get everyone here so we can speak to them all together. My name is Mr. Wilson. I'm the butler here. If butler you Wilson. will all. Follow me to your left. I will leave you in the parlor and go and get Mr. Allen. And if you look to your left, there should be a parlor for you. There is a parlor. <gasps> there Can is. I like try and skeef one of these umbrellas? Can I try and steal one? Just I mean, like... are you going to do it in front of him or are you going to wait for him? No, to I'm going to wait for him to like turn away turn and walk away or lead us into the parlor. So he's opened the door for you and he's ushering you into the parlor. Are you going? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll I'll follow him. I'll go in. Okay, so he's going to let you go into the parlor and then he, he himself is going to say, don't touch anything, especially the curtains. They're finicky. And he goes, I'll be right back. I'm going to go and get Mr. Allen. And he's going to walk away. You hear him, his footsteps fade away. If you would like to do, try and steal stuff now, you're more than welcome to. Well, now I want to check out the curtains. I know, I was about to ask <laughs> to investigate those things. Okay, I, if I right. see that uh, Bellaness is investigating the curtains, I'm going to go back and steal a, a umbrella. Okay. I'm going to head in the entrance to, and check what's under the rug. Okay, so well, I'll just Paige, say, uh, real quick, Paige, yep. you flip over the rug? Yep. You find a large gold key. It's very ornate. Investigation? Insight? All right. I can do investigation. Especially since I'm actually proficient in that one. Not that it matters, it's a six. It's a really big gold key. Um, I don't know. Seems kind of important. Sneak it if, away in the pocket for, for later use. If All Meager right. went into that, like that was in the front, the entranceway, right? Mm -hmm. Would I have seen her take this key? Did you go there or are you investigating the curtains? No, Belinus is investigating the curtains. I went to go steal an umbrella. Okay. You saw her do that. Wait, uh, you know what? Roll me, an, roll me an inside check. All right. Is insider investigation? Uh, well, I rolled insight. And I got a 15, choice. But your choice, whatever you Yeah, prefer. you saw it. It's cool, whatever. Okay. okay. Um, uh, I'm just like, uh, what have you got there, Paige? Something interesting. We'll see how it goes. Oh, 
if there's a key, it's probably a lock that it goes in. You just gotta find the right hole to insert it into. Phrasing. Phrasing, boom. Phrasing. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, you were going to try and steal something? Yeah, I'm stealing an umbrella. Can you give me a stealth check? Slight, slight of hands. Give me a slight of hands. Take it without making noise. Okay. That's what we need right now. Um, I mean, 13. It's literally, you just pull it right out. Yeah, you take, you take, I was like, is it a one? Did you just break everything? Yeah, you yeah. take. Take an umbrella or a cane. Um, ooh, I want a cane. All right. So you got yourself an awesome pimp cane, and it's made of iron. Cool. Good luck hiding that when he comes back. Um, and Bellini. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You wanted to check out the curtains. I got a fourteen on investigation. I'm guessing that's what I would roll. What? are you doing to check out those curtains? Oh, I'm touching them. I'm moving them. I'm looking oh, you them touch up and them? down. Yeah, you touch them. Okay. Praise so them. I'm going to need... Hang on one second. I got to do a thing now. I'm going to need you to um, make make a strength save for me oh no i can't do that yeah uh, you touch listen you touch the curtains i he told you not to so glad i went to get a cane <laughs> nine does that nine. do it <clears throat> no okay so, oh no wait hang on it's a constitution save is that better yes oh my gosh <laughs> i don't <laughs> I even doing this right. I hope I'm doing this right. Nope, that's not better. That's a nat one. Oh my god! <laughs> so you have been oh. complete. These you touch the curtains and you're like, oh yes, uh, purple velvety, and <laughs> they come to life and just wrap you up completely in them, and you start to smother. Like you're getting smothered. You can't breathe. Question: Do I see that? I mean, he made a lot of noise. I'm assuming she made a lot of noise. I'm assuming. Um, is <sighs> anyone gonna help? Because I'm going to. So, yeah, I'll roll go. For over. I'll take my. <laughs> All right. Yep. Wait. Yeah, we'll go. Mini leaguers gonna just start beeping. Beeping. Yeah, and I come running in with my steel cane. What's going on, mini meat? Oh God, damn it! Glad I didn't Did touch just... the curtains. Did you say initiative? Yeah, we're rolling yeah. for initiative. Because oh. uh, Bellini's is about to get smothered to death. Well, oh, of course good start. Yes. All right. Got a 22 if that helps. <laughs> 22 yeah, for Alistair? Kind of put you in first place. No, 22 for, for Bellini. Bellini. Okay, hang on. Let me, write, let me put this in here. God help me. We're going to do this. So Bellini's got 22. Archer. Six. Okay, Paige. 16. 16. Mini Meager. <laughs> Meager and Mini Meager go on the same turn. Okay. I, but Meager got a 10. 10. Okay. Yeah. 10 and 10. And Sherlad. That would be a fashionable 13. 13. Awesome. So let's see here. Bellinius, what would you like to do? I would uh, probably like to can I use primal savagery? What's that do? To try to tear that tear through. It pretty much it's makes... an attack cantrip. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Does a 23 hit? It does. Three damage. Oh, well, you guys are this is, seriously. Are the curtains going to take you guys out? Possible. Well, it's, it's been fun, guys. Are, are the, is this how you die? 
<laughs> Lord. I, I mean, I, now they might. Okay. And this is a testament to it is acid and damage stupid. if that helps. Let's see here. Da, 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 conditions. Same. So it's not there's no, it does not do anything different. Um okay. Uh let's see. Oh no. No, okay, that page. Yes. Would you like to do your 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 thing now? It's your turn. Okay. <laughs> you make me a slightly worried just by how you said that. I'm really sorry that I put these monsters in this house, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. So I am going to head towards the curtain. And I am going to beat a rug with my quarterstaff. Yes, yeah, a good cleaning. <laughs> Indeed. Does a 15 do anything? Yeah, you hit. How, many, how much damage are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that look right there. That says it all. I'm more worried about how much damage do I take from this yep. beating. <laughs> yep. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, look, transparency from a DM. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm doing six damage. Okay, so you take three damage. <laughs> How you doing? Please tell me. You guys, you guys are okay. That's still, you guys are level three. I shouldn't have done this to you. <laughs> Wait, so did Belinus take half the damage that? Yes. It has cool. damage transfer. Can we see that this is happening? You guys are all there. You can see. It's just like <laughs> we're hitting this thing. <laughs> hey, just she went in and started with a quarter staff <laughs> and her <laughs> and Melina's <laughs> go ow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what just happened. <laughs> why do I feel that in this moment, Belinus is pretty much a Cyril? <laughs> we found our Cyril, guys. Oh boy, <laughs> the pressing fire. Vegas. I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. Fool. So <laughs> it's, now the, it's now the it's now the turn. <laughs> oh no! Tell me. Let's see here. Does a sixteen hit? Yeah, sixteen yeah. hits. Okay, so oh fuck! You take ten damage. Oh. You take ten bludgeoning damage, as it just tightens around your neck and hits you off the window a little bit i at that you know what shit we're only in the first room at that moment <laughs> <laughs> at that moment the butler walks back in and says drop him drop him her drop her and the curtains just let you go and fall back i'm gonna say we're out of initiative uh sir i think that there is something wrong with your curtains i told you not to touch the curtains they're finicky finicky and homicidal are two entirely different things to you maybe oh, i'll say when so many questions about this house now Hold on, i so pull when... out my fiddle I just start tuning up the instrument. This house tried Are to we eat gonna me. start today? Mr. Allen will be with you in a few moments. Please be seated. Can I do an inside check on that individual? You may. Roll for it. All right. Ah, uh, nine. That's like... Yeah, Mr. Allen's on the way, yo. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, inside. I was gonna say when uh Wilson is the butler's name, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, just want to make sure. That. So when Wilson was saying, you know, like, oh, I said, don't you know, don't touch the currents of finicky. It's like, do you want to get corpses? That's how you get corpses. <laughs> he just the look, the deadpan look that he just gives you, like, he can't understand that how you became a rook right now <laughs> and just can't deal with you please once again do not 
touch anything and be seated. Mr. Allen will be here in momentarily. And he's gonna walk across the room to light up some more um, gas lamps in the room. Uh, can everyone roll me a perception check? Or investigation, whichever you like. All right. Do Doesn't matter for me. <laughs> well, since I'm supposedly better at investigations, not that it does anything. That's a seven for investigation. That's that investigation. Was investigation or perception, right? Uh, investigation or in, yeah, perception. Said that right? Yeah, uh, <laughs> that one for me. Sure. Archer. At this point, Archer. I think I'm going to need to get my physical dice. Dan. Uh, well, I rolled a eight oh, my for perception for, for investigation. But Mini Meager got a 21 for perception. You guys are. Did he see anything? You also How does heard my the digital dice investigation go from me, right? <laughs> what I'm was sorry. That? You've got that look, okay? My, so I got my 23 blue dice. on investigation. Ooh. Okay. My blue dice are in jail now. I'm sorry. Already, this is going to be. This is going to. Okay. I'm so. Hate this, aren't I? <laughs> Mr. Wilson excuses himself once more to go and make sure that he's Mr. Allen is getting ready. You, Alistair, right? You saw, you got 23, mm -hmm. was it? Yeah. All right. You notice that there's a tea set on the little, on the little um, table in front of those couches there and chairs. Um, it's old, but it's been recently used. It's still, but there's tea in it, it's cold. Um, one, one teacup has red lipstick on it and, um, on the, uh, fireplace, there is, there's a bunch of photos. If anyone hmm. would like to look at that. I'll go in. With 23, actually you've, with 23, you, you clocked it right away. There's a picture mm -hmm. of Annabelle on it, on the, the, the uh, the fireplace. The, it's Singular portrait. As She's a with a, as a, a man, which you know to be Mr. Allen. Hmm. Right. They look There's happy. The Jezebel. They look really happy. Oh, I look better than him. Rather suspicious. Um, as you are sitting down, or I guess looking at the uh, team. I'm over by the fireplace. Just you're over by the fireplace. Yeah. But, 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 <laughs> um, in walks a maid. Standard maid outfit, black with nice frilly white uh, apron. She's got her hair done up in a nice bun. She goes, I am so sorry about this. I should have taken this away earlier. And she just walks in, grabs the, the tea set. And, Noah, uh, just stay for a earlier? Darwin. Pardon? How much earlier did you forget to bring this tea set back in? Oh, it's only been a few hours. It's from myself and Mr. Allen having tea earlier. So well, Mr. Allen wears lipstick, huh? I wear lipstick. Can I see if it's the same hmm. color? Roll me investigation. Oh yeah, swapped over to the metal dice. Uh, Seventeen. <laughs> it is not. It is not the same color. It is just a. It's it's a much too bright red for the one that's on the on the teacup. Do you normally swap your lipstick in the middle of the day, or are you and Mister Allen getting onto something that might have smudged it all? <gasps> How dare you, sir? Seriously, I mean, the news is all around town. What news? Oh, the untoward activities happening here. Why do you think we're here? We are a respectable establishment. Now, I do know the reason that you are here, and I am very sorry for Mrs. Annabelle's disappearance. She is a lovely woman. But how dare you, sir? Oh, she I dare everything. I dare picks everywhere. up her tea set, straightens her back, and just moment this well i'm gonna walk over and just grab that teacup and just hold it up next to her face and go yeah that doesn't look right mini meager 
Hold that for evidence. <laughs> I was okay. ready to my robot. Would you like some tea? Well, oh, yes, that would be splendid. If you're offering. Yes, we'll cover up the bruises and cuts on my compatriot. I'm say, sure uh, you. I'm sure Mr. Wilson told you not to touch the curtains. This is what happens when you don't listen. And she just walks away and goes, "I'll be back with your tea." And you hear her I, walking towards the kitchens. Well, I was gonna say before she started walking off, uh, I'll say, "I I don't drink tea, but if you can get me some uh, uh, whiskey." As Paige the door slams. Of, <laughs> as Paige drinks from her <laughs> flask. Oh this my is god. A, a very respected, respected household that they wouldn't have whiskey. All they have is tea. I was like, wait. Do I mean I that see... might have also been the, the fact that you offended the freaking maid. Poor I didn't woman. offend the maid. I did not offend them. I didn't do anything this time. And also do I see Paige pull out their flask? Do you? So I'm assuming roll perception. Are, are you hiding it? I Paige? do not hide the fact that I drink. Right. So I'm assuming you see it. All right. So in normal <laughs> archer fashion, I'm just putting my hand out toward Paige. So you like, try like, and take this, and I will rip, and I will rip your hand off as well as the flask. <laughs> I never said take. I'm just saying share. Just give me. It. I'm just saying share. Okay, let's see here. I need Mr. Allen. Okay, you hear <clears throat> very light footsteps coming towards you. A moment later, through uh, how do I ping on this thing? Just hold. Click and uh, hold. You've got to change your thing to select mode, and then I think yeah, click and hold. Okay, so you see where I'm pinging right now? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I do. Right there? Mm -hmm. There's a door there, and Mr. Allen walks through that. You guys see Mr. Al Mr. Edgar Allen glides into the room. He's surprisingly graceful for someone so gangly. He's tall. He's about six feet tall, very thin for a human. He looks frail. His skin is pale, almost graying, and for lack of a better term, he looks ill. Um, he has dark circles under his eyes. The purple really brings out the blue in his irises. And he has a mop of brown hair on his head that's meticulously combed and parted down the middle. He wears a well-tailored fine black suit, and he would look actually fairly handsome if he just didn't look so sick. He kind of looks like he's about to drop dead on you guys any moment. Question. And, yes. Contrast to the earlier photograph I saw. He How looks still. He still looks ill. Hmm. He looks he looks like he's been sick for a really long time. And he sighs. He's very exhausted. Good afternoon. And he walks over to the chairs and takes a seat very gracefully. How may I help you? Paige Button, I'm a homicide detective. We were called over. Homicide. They are My butler informs me that Mrs. Annabelle has gone missing. Honestly, yeah. it's pretty slow right now, so they're throwing me into everything. So I should not be worried, though. Absolutely not. Uh, Unless you've got something whether... to hide. What I have to smack the crap out of all of you. I'd say Archer at this point just goes, no, you should be worried. You're going to tell us where she is now. My good man, if I knew where she was, I would tell you. And, and I'm pretty sure if he knew where he where she was, he wouldn't have called us. I Your have mind. nothing to hide. In fact, if you would like to look around the house, you may. Everything is open to you. The staff should help you. Is there any more, uh, you know, 
some a killer curtains. Or anything like it that we need to worry about. Yes, don't talk. Yes. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> totally fine. <laughs> All right. Would you like to look around? We will have to do that as part of our investigation. All right. So we do, do you, appreciate it. Do you have any questions for me? So we know. You do know when Annabelle, Miss Annabelle Lee went missing. I was unaware that she had been missing until you arrived. All right, so when was the last time you heard from Miss Annabelle Lee? She was here four days ago. She was here for about a week. Came All to right. visit. She visiting just you, visiting relatives? Just me. She comes once or twice a year. All right. And were there any arguments, any, any oh. tiffs, quarrels? No, of course not. She is my dearest friend, and I'm very, very upset that she has gone missing. Please, you must find her. Can I insight that? Yes. Fourteen. He's really upset. He wants you to find her. Hmm. Is there anything that I can do for you? Yeah, who are you having tea with? Because uh, that's a little strange if you don't seem to have any other guests around and just the two staff members. The tea? Mini, Mini Meeker, hand it over. And Mini Meeker, like, opens a little spot where he put the little teacup hands it to me and he's like this tea he takes it from you and then looks at the cup and goes oh this is must have been from when miss annabelle was here we don't use this room often sometimes we take tea here when she's here i wonder if mrs brewer has been falling down on her job she told us she was supposed to clean this out a few hours ago. You're telling us you haven't seen her in days. That is correct. You, you will have to speak with Mrs. Brewer. Mm. All right, we will definitely make a note to do that, okay? All right. If you don't mind, though, I will retire to my bedroom for, for now. He's... Romy... Roll me perception. Three. Eighteen. Seventeen. Wait, wait. Perception is for the room. Insight is for the person. Yes. Do insight. Uh, still seventeen. Insight. Yeah, no, it would have been 13. the same either way. Six. Eighteen either way. Okay, so... He looks really tired. He does not look well. And the longer he's speaking to you, the paler he's becoming. All right. Well, you would you head up to your room if we need to talk to you. We'll visit you there, okay? You know where to find me. Thank you. Please find what you need and please find Miss Annabelle. And he we'll gets up best. and very slowly makes his way from the room. Where would you like to go? Uh, give me one second. First, I'm going to go get some new dice because apparently D&D Beyond hates me. All right. There. I think it's all my dice hate me. So do we think he did it? Seems like he did it. 
no, I'm having to believe it's the queen. Like, she did not like me at all. Everybody likes me. That's a... I turn to Archer. Do you think she did it? (sighs) I just go... I I just go, it's the butler. It's always the butler. Wilson. Of course. He killed her. He killed her to hell. We have a picture of her. Well, there is um, one on the mantelpiece with the uh, utterly trashy gentleman. I mean, I look side better. Why are you so mean to him? He's sick. He's doing the best he can. Belenice is going to go grab the um, picture and look at it and uh, attempt to call her spirit into the room. Oh, okay. I'm going you to need, need an ability you. check for this, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to need you to roll. Ooh, what would you? Before you Arcana? do, bardic inspiration. You think? You got a d6 for contacting the dead. Do you think Arcana? I, th- I feel like Arcana. I have your go. call. To the DM. Mm-hmm. I- I'm going to go with Arcana. I'm at 20. I'm not oh. using the bardic. Oh. Right now. So nice. you're calling her spirit. Yes. What are you doing? Trying to get information on either if she's alive and where she's at, or maybe information on how she died and maybe where the body's at. Okay. The you're you, you're holding the picture right now. Yes. The picture that you're looking at moves, and she sort of comes towards it and puts her hand on the glass from inside the picture and just looks at you. Still got a smile on her face, but you called her, so she's answering. I'm gonna um, slowly touch the picture with a very, very confused look on my face. And, uh, Ask if she is alive. She nods. And then I'm going to ask her if she is in this house still. She nods. Do I have a limited amount of questions I may ask? The picture her? looks like it's actually starting to go back the way it was. I'm going to ask for, hopefully, to get an idea of what is around her. What is around her? Ooh, that's a good one. The picture goes black. (laughs) Worst fade to black ever. She's locked in a box somewhere. Either that or got censored. All right. the lights are just out. (laughs) <laughs> and the picture's back and it's normal again. Did you see anything good, Bellinus? Um, yeah, so um, she's not dead. Um, and she is here. So we might want to uh, get some information from that maid, I think. She seems hmm. sketchy. She was kind of a very rude person. See? See? That's what I'm talking about. We need some Carolina fries, we need some whiskey, we need coffee, and then we got ourselves a case. So, where would you like to go? There is a door right over here on the map I'm pinging. Mm-hmm. And then you know that there's an entrance in, and there's a door that goes into the main foyer. I'm aiming to go to main foyer. Everyone? Yeah, let's go from bottom to top. Yeah, if Archer's going that way, we should probably stick together. I've seen horror movies. You split up in a case like this, you get caught up in a curtain and strangled, and there's nothing you can like, do about it. Just hey, do what you're that told. That was one time. That was, that was one time, okay? Yeah, but it was one time like 
five minutes ago. <laughs> I so, mean, he's not wrong. <sighs> when you step into the foyer, sorry, I just have to open everything here. This is what you see. It is a large open room with a rug, giant and beautiful Persian rug. And across from you are two doors that are closed, big double doors that are closed. Um, to the right are stairs that go up. And to the left, you see stairs that go down as well as a bunch more doors. So there's two, two, three, four more doors. I guess, no wait, you would see the stairs. So three more doors. I, uh, I would think we you go down? You want to go down to the basement? I, I want to check, like, I want to walk across the carpet first and, like, tap my feet down and see if there's anything underneath it. We've already Roll found something under there. Investigation. Eighteen. Eighteen, eighteen. You can't really describe it, but you feel like you're being watched. You don't see anything. You feel like you're being watched. Meaning bigger. Ghosts or something around here. All right. I was gonna say, Ooh, I'm not dealing with no ghosts. Got enough time with this. Back on the farm. Uh, right here, Ron Pinging. Is that a wall or is that where one of the doors that you described? Uh, so. This one right here is, well, I'm on the wrong thing. There are two doors there. This one and this one. Okay. And then you said double, big double doors are right here? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. So those are doors. Okay. So I'm going to go, I'm just, okay, stairs, stairs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head to this wall here. Oh, let me move back space. Like so the wall is pinging in between the doors, and, and I'm just going to tap on it to see if there's like any secret passages. Because old houses like this, they had to have secret passages. Okay, Would you want to uh, roll me investigation? Yeah. Nine. Nine. Okay. Um, just so you're aware, above there was a uh, gas lamp on that wall that you were knocking on, um, and a spider fell off of it and onto your hand while you did that. Better than a gator. <laughs> it just crawls up your arm, as long as you let it. Yeah, I just go to swipe it off. Okay. Anyone? Considering how much, considering how much this tunic cost, I swipe it off. Well, I'm gonna. There was uh, nothing there. I'm gonna go over here and also investigate because that does look like I'm doing something today. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you? Are any of you gonna open the doors, or are you just gonna like look at them really, really intensely? I mean, I'm going to be opening this one here. Let me look. Hang on. Not going through it, but which uh, one? Opening it. Is this one. The one yep. on the right. Okay. So you're gonna open that door. Let me reveal it to you. Page, page, we really should stick together. Just opening it, I'm not walking through it. So you found the kitchen. Temptation, There's temptation. tiled floors, you see double sinks. There's a fridge to the left, a stove. Seems like a normal. Page, what do you see? It's the kitchen. Oh, please tell me they got liquor in there. I'm going to smack find out? you. Why? You know, you're going to go look for a snack? I've been, I've, been so, I've been sober since this morning. That's a long time for me, okay? I did, <sighs> just so you're aware, I did put liquor in the house. <laughs> so, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to go look I've for it. I've been waiting for you to roll to find it. I'm just going I'm, I'm to head to the, uh, the kitchen and check one of the cabinets. Yeah, I'm also going through the cabinets in the kitchen. Let's see what I put in here. I'm Hello, we're supposed to be finding a person and we're finding the liquor. Yeah. 
And Go ahead. I'm Only alone investigation, guys. In the foyer. God, mother. Who's alone in the foyer? Hi. Okay. Well, I you. haven't gone. I haven't you... left into the kitchen. Yeah, I must say, there's still three yeah. people in the foyer. And okay. Yeah, it's just the two of us in the kitchen, and there's three of you in the foyer. Um, I got a 18. Five. Five. God damn it, dude. <laughs> I've used four different D20s. Yeah, don't rotate. <laughs> Why are you cursed? It isn't a revolver. So what are you doing to, as you investigate? I'm just opening the cabinets up like normal. Yeah, I'm and like going through drawers, go through the fridge. You know, everything... you'd learn after the curtain incident. Right? Jesus. Um, <laughs> everything has a really thick layer of dust on it. In the fridge? The fridge, there's nothing. Does anybody share this information? Uh, guys, um, I don't think the people in here eat. Or maybe there's another kitchen. Did anybody see another kitchen? I don't know. You've only been looking through this one. Well, still, so, don't see anything. Does let my me, investigation let me go reveal check. anything? Where were you investigating? I was investigating over here taking after Archer's lead to see if there was anything nearby like you. Know, did, did you open the door engine. or anything? Yeah, let's say for argument's sake, I open uh, this one here. So you found a closet. Um, did you go through it? Yeah, sure. Would you like right. me to roll investigation? Or no, perception? we'll use what you were using before. Okay, um, so 22 investigation, trying to find something fashionable. You see a bunch of coats and such. There are some female coats and mm, petticoats, petticoats, yeah, things like that. Um, and the further that you go down into like, see, it kind of like goes down, gets how do I describe this? There's the door in front of you, and then there's like mm -hmm. some space to the, to the right. Uh, yeah. the further you go down and look through that, the it's really weird. The clothing kind of seems to get older, like mm. decades by decades. Is there any gotcha. rabbit furs in there? Are there any rabbit furs in there? Um, no. Okay. That would be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, Belenice would definitely have to be upset and would have to bring it up to these people in the house. But if yeah. there is none, then we're there, okay. There's a mink, but, but not rabbit fur. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's a mink muff. Um, where are we here? Uh, where? <laughs> what else would you guys like to do? Uh, I don't find anything in the kitchen. No booze. There's, there's literally nothing. Hmm. Dust on top of dust. Is this a door here? Which one? Yes, it is. I'm going to <laughs> open, open that door and not go through it. You can, so you, you're opening, oh, hang on, before I reveal this, this thing, this door right here. Oh yeah, you're close to it, I see it, okay. I'm gonna do the thing. So you've while opened this door. I was like, while you're revealing that archers is going like, God damn it, they gotta have booze here somewhere. So <laughs> we're you, investigating something, we're not trying to steal the liquor. You open the door, I can yes. do two things. I need you to make a deck save. Of course. At least you're a monk. Uh, a plate comes hurling out of the room at your head. All right, that is a 20, 30, 20. And you dodged like it was nothing. Is anyone behind you? You uh, guys are not. Like no, you guys are. Debatable. Technically, right, right. on the angle. Bigger kind of walked out yeah. to stand near her. I don't know if he's right behind her, but nah, nearby. No, we'll, say, we'll say that. That don't, just went straight between you guys. Okay. Now, does the plate shatter? Yes. Woo! No, it's kind but of it's, it's pretty far from you guys. Like it hit it. It hit the back where the stairs are. There, it got launched. Oh, um, it was over here. And you hear a scream, like you just a giant wail, ghostly. What are you doing in my house? And, hmm. and let me figure this out one second. Hang on. I got to like do technical stuff and that's never going to 
not never gonna work. <laughs> well, in the meantime, I'm gonna check to make sure my house doesn't burn, so I'll be back. How do I do the thing? I'm on the wrong layer. That's what I'm on. Okay. I say, whenever you're done technical, I'm going to probably do something stupid, but I'm Archer, so it fits. Yeah, well, so. you said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, map token layer. That's where I gotta go. Okay, can you see what just appeared yep. there? They just popped up. Okay. Um, sh should I wait for Alistair? It probably, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. But, uh, okay. What I was gonna What I was gonna say though is before before the uh, token showed up is Archer's going to charge in there, just going, wow, wow. just gonna scream. I'll let you do it. Go move your, yeah, move your character in. Archer's lair is going to go oh. to about here. Okay. Okay. And hope I didn't just screw myself, but we'll see. You, you can't doing... be worse than a curtain of death, right? Are you doing Unless anything? I die. No, it was just charging in there. This is before the token popped up. Okay. So you charged. You charged in there. Like when the scream occurred is when he charged. Like after the plate went between him and Meager, and before the or right when the scream happened. I'm, I'm really sorry, <laughs> but all right. So you can now uh, see that there are two ghosts in the room. Oh, there, shit. I see the other one now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, there is oh, a dang. beautifully set dining room table, long dining room table in front of you. Glasses are filled with amber liquid. There's a rug. Okay. And can you make me an inside check? Sure. Mother. Dirty one. It was, it was a modified one. So you're the only one in here. Okay, cool. You, you don't know who this ghost is. No clue. But yeah, that, that fits she's, Archer. She's, she's really mad at you. Um, you're standing next to the table, right? Yeah, I'm right That's near the it? head of the table. Okay, is anyone else following him in? Yeah. I feel like Meager would have followed Red. Hey, what? Yeah, uh, no, I'll there by follow behind Meager. I'm going to walk in beside him and be like, oh, there's uh, some sort of apparition in here. Nah, can't be a ghost. It's going to be like some sort of scientific explanation for this. It's really weird. It looks like the maid to you. And she's hmm. mad. Wait, Somebody one? didn't wipe their feet. This one or this one? <laughs> that one just looks like another um, sort of, not the maid. I guess they would be the maid. Like another maid, but not the one that you met. All right, so, so this, the one close to us, one that looks like the one we met. Yes. Okay, that's all I was double checking on. Cool. And so she's Bella muttering to herself. Man. But she's going to slowly walk around the entire rug and not actually step on the rug okay. to get there. So she probably didn't sleep with this Mr. Allen guy then. Rude. She's a ghost. Rude people. Hey, you, 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 never, you never know with some people. That's true. I need you all to roll for initiative for me. All right, here we go. That's where we go. 14. Okay. Oh. Finally, really? Digits. Really? So glad I took up my metal dice. Uh, yep. Okay. Let us know. Okay, I'm good. Let's add people in here. How do I do this? Where is the initiative? So who? Let's we'll start with Bel my Bellini. Wait, how do I edit this? <laughs> Fifteen. Uh, una momento. Why do you hate? Fifteen. Okay. We can do this. You got to stop the combat and start it again. Oh, I got to do a new combat. Yeah. Fuck Remember, you. if you don't like your initiative, you can add that bardic to it. Right. Yes. Don't forget you have bardic inspiration. You're going to need use it. that when I do my uh, death saving throw in here in about 30 seconds. How <laughs> dead are you? You remember that you? I gave you guys healing she's, potion. She, uh, yes. she, she, she's kind of pretty bloody right now. Like She doesn't Damn. look good. Damn. But also you're a druid, so you get wild shape, right? Mm. Okay, yeah, yeah, so up. Archer. Yes. Initiative. 14. 14. Finally, double digits. Page. 
Paige. Is gone. Which? Oh my gosh. Mini Internet? meager. A uh, meager. We are at 17. 17. All right. Wow, really, guys? You rolled like shit. <laughs> oh no, you haven't heard mine yet. No, no, my guys. Uh, Sherlock. That's going to be 22. Dang. Dang. Give me Bleeding. your time. Yeah. <laughs> Bellinis? Oh yeah, sorry. Fifteen. I'm first. No, what's your what's your initiative? Fifteen. Thank you. Um, and Paige, what's your initiative? Eleven. Eleven. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, Sherlad, what would you like to do? You All have right, so... the maid in front of you, ghostly. Mm -hmm. and you know incorporeal and in the corner you have this unnamed uh wait staff uh which ghost. corner i'm not seeing not seeing it south uh the southeast corner right here it kind of oh, okay i think i'm at a different part of the map okay i think i see it but for now i'm just gonna focus on what's in front of me so this one right here one that's right by everybody gonna uh -huh. just Look over at with my fiddle. Oh, honey, you don't look as good in death as you would have in life. With a little ring on the fiddle, do a vicious mockery. Wisdom saving throw. Okay, let me roll that. Where am I looking right now? Okay, hang on. Wisdom. No, that's you. I should not be rolling for you. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh. I'm blind. Apologies. No, you're so, all right. She rolled a seven. Okay, that does not pass. So that's a failure. Disadvantage on first attack. Uh-huh. I'm taking one psychic damage. Ooh, stings. Just one? Yeah, okay. it's a d4. Okay. Can't do anything with bonus action because someone got my bardic, oh. so down the line. Are you going to move or anything? No, I, I think I actually, yeah, I'm going to keep my comrades in line of sight, but I'm not wanting to damage my clothes. Got to move backwards five feet. Probably smart. <laughs> um, who's next here? We have the specter in the corner. Okay. Oh, so this unknown, this unknown maid here is going to... Oh, Archer. Oh, Archer, how far can I move here? Let's see. Oh, Archer. Okay. She's going to fly over to you. Let me move her. No, I cannot move that. Why am I? Because I'm on the GM layer. This is the worst. All right, so she just flies right over to you through the table and everything and oh, <laughs> guys I'm sorry <laughs> she's going to make a, a melee spell attack called life drain let's see oh, oh boy does, not does the a, suit does a 14 hit uh, yes it does okay <laughs> so she goes, yes, the suit, and just gently caresses you. <laughs> and you take nine necrotic damage. Oh, boy. It's very nice. Where did you get it? <laughs> Is that his black suit or his slightly darker black suit? Just slightly darker. <laughs> just, just caressing his chest right now. Meager. Okay. Um, Meager is going to go stand beside the maid. And mini Meager, I don't have an icon for him, but we're going to say he's standing like right beside Meager. So like okay. in the square just to hit the left of him. Um, he is going to like, how do I describe this? He like, his arm basically like opens up and he pulls out a sword from it. 
and then a shield appears on his arm as it just mechanically pops into place. <laughs> and he is going to take a swing with his longsword, his plus one longsword, All right. on her. And that's going to be, I'm just going to roll online. Ooh, that's going to be a 24. Yeah, that hits. That definitely nice. hits. Nice. And she hates you for it. First, you come into her house and you are you accuse her of sleeping with her master. The uh, phrasing boom. Take a drink. <laughs> now, now you're giving me a chance to say it. <laughs> and then you don't wipe your feet. I had so And then you too. steal a cane. I forgot. Oh god, she can't she can't stand to leave. How much damage did she do? Eight uh slashing damage. Magic slashing with a damage. magical weapon. Yeah. Magical weapon. yeah. That is full damage then. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That it was is. psychic too. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. And then as my bonus action, I look at Mini Meager and I go, Mini Meager, get her. And he gets to make an attack too. So this little robot just like just smashes into her. Uh that's gonna be. She's just like, witchcraft! She doesn't know what it is. 15 to hit? 15 hits. Nice. And Mini Meager just punches into her for <laughs> eight force damage. Oh. Okay. Is it magic? It's force damage. Force. Force. So let me see here. Which uh, isn't resistances. normal. Resistances. A steel defender. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like whoop, eight. Bam, eight force mm -hmm. damage. Yo, you guys. Maybe you won't. Science die. beats superstition <laughs> every time. What is going on here? Apply damage, apply damage. This one. Eight. Okay. Or you could just be a bitch. Okay. Not <laughs> you guys. Just call Pam on it, okay? God damn it, Pam. God, how much do we hate her? <laughs> um, is that it? That's it, yeah. And then he's going to hold the shield up. Bellinus. Bellini. <laughs> All right. So uh, first she's going to cast um, Healing Spirit. Okay. And um, do I get to heal right now for casting it? Or does it have to wait till the beginning of my next turn? How does that spell work? It's when yeah, you can... move into this, when you move into the range, or you uh, start your turn within it. You can cast it over top of you. Yeah, it's a thirty feet range. Yeah. So, so if you cast it in your area, yeah, you can take the. Okay. Sweet. Well, I will heal four points of damage. I'm so sorry. That's all right. Let's see. Well, it is a good and... spell because I can also heal Archer. So she is um, going to see how well this will work and throw her boomerang at the one um, in front of a... I, can't, I don't remember his name. Archer? No, the other one. Meager. 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 There we go. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Does a six hit? <laughs> you can it's use that hard to hit her, but no, it does not. <laughs> um. God, I can't wait for you. Shh, Jessica. <laughs> Um, it does not. Is that your, so that's it, yes? Yep. All right, all right, all right, all right. Is that, you're moving, anything? Nope, I'm gonna stay right there. Sterling. So, one, I was, did the, did that ghost end up causing damage to the tunic, by the way? <laughs> yeah, there's like a huge, there's like a necrotic handprint right here. All right, so... <laughs> First off, going like, great, now I'm down one slightly darker black tunic. 
Two. Very soft. <laughs> Two. You're just going to hear, after that, you're just going to hear Archer go, Revenge Rampage! Yes! <laughs> and going to cast uh, Eldritch Blast on this one. This one. Whoa. At disadvantage? Yeah, that is at disadvantage. You're right up close. Yeah, I know. Let's hope the dice love me this time. You bet. You better hope. I mean, oh, there's no way around that. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> What'd you get? You courted doom. What else do you expect? Uh, eight. Eight. Okay. Um, it would have been a dirty twenty. Oh. Could have just blasted the other one. Hang on, hang on. I need to decide if this is how if this is how this is going to work now. Oh, Am no. I the only one of you people who can hit anything? Remember, Archer ain't bright. Yeah, uh, oh, no. she's in the middle of the table right now. I'm going to say that you hit the table. And... Oh, no, and scorch it? Nope. Hang on. Let's get back to that layer. If you're having me hit the table, do you still want me to roll damage then? Yeah, roll the damage. Oh, no. Did you take Agonizing Blast? I was not. I was. It would have been that if I was hitting. How'd you but, do? Uh, how much did you do? Just five. Five. Okay. So you unleash this. <laughs> you what unleash your you eldritch blast, <laughs> and the table. It hits the table, and the table in front of you morphs into oh. a mimic table. No. That whole table <laughs> is now it has teeth and like hundreds of eyes and it is mad. Hold on. I'm trying to remember who gave her the idea of using mimics. It wasn't me. I swear on everything holy, it was not me. It was one I of us. Look. I can't remember who it was. Hey, one don't of look you. at me. <laughs> okay, so, it might have been me, but still. I have just been the hype friend. <laughs> On good I mean, news, Archer got to be the non dead friend. <laughs> you at least you took off five of the hit points. Yeah, out of how many? <laughs> A lot. Uh, do, do we need to be in this room? Um, I don't think that the big table thing can follow us out the door. I hope. Maybe. Guys. How do I, how do I yeah, but I feel like the spirits that we're fighting could probably make it through the door. Oh yeah. Divide and conquer, guys. Divide and conquer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so are you oh. doing anything else? Uh probably another stupid moment, but <laughs> crap. Actually, dang, if I take a five foot step, I'm moving into it's gonna be two attack of opportunities. Fuck. Nope, my ass Not is Not necessarily still. you could move and provoke one, but it looks really hungry. God, mother. It looks really hungry. And you look tasty. You're a tasty morsel. Archer, yeah. Archer's hot, right? Yeah. yeah real but... quick, just because someone mentioned in chat, Jim Bob asked, is the mimic mim? <laughs> a little bit. I was thinking of mim when I made it. Yeah. <laughs> so this really sucks for you, Archer. It's the mimic's turn. Oh. Are you? Wait, where was I in the initiative order? You're after it. Of course I am. It was. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. So, know. Archer, did you heal five? No, I did not. I didn't know I was supposed to. Go That's going to help. The healing spirit. Yeah. I, I didn't know what the range on that was. Oh, good. Like, or the area but you really effect, need I mean. this. It's 30 mm -hmm. feet, so it's in place that everyone on the start of their turn can take a D6 of healing. Okay, cool. You said five points, right? Yes. Thank you, because I'm, I'm seriously going to need it. So, it's going to do a multi-attack. No! You Ooh. just woke it up. Listen, it, it's been asleep a really long time. You look tasty. <sighs> You're right there. It's going to try and bite you. It just goes... <sighs> And it's going to get a 16 to hit. That hits. That hits. Okay. So I, mean, I get the morning munchies too, but this is ridiculous. That's, uh, that's going to be 
10 piercing damage and and six acid damage. Oh. Uh, there's there's two more attacks coming. Um, how, oh how, how are you doing right now? Just... Uh, do you remember the episode when he was trying to go, when they were after going the uh, the coyote and yeah. he had bullets in his back? So not, so not great. I'm probably dying. Okay. Um, oh, so, you, so 15 points of damage total, right? Yeah. Uh, 16. Oh, six. Then you know what? Okay. He bit you. You don't taste that good. You have a lot of aftershave on and stuff. And it's not very <laughs> smart. So it spits you out and it's like, bleh. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not good eats. <laughs> I love and that imagery, just the long ton. It gives you a, an opportunity attack as it books it over to me. Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh. I, what did I do? So, do you got. Do I always you, knew you had bad Paige, taste. And uh, Archer, make me a uh, make the opportunity to attack. Oh, now I did you not twenty now? Right. No, it wasn't a nat. Um, because this was with wait, I'm trying, yeah, because opportunity attack. I can still use cantrips on opportunity attacks, right? Are you a warcaster? I no, think it's just mind, think melee so. attacks, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, unless you're a warcaster. Just making sure so I know what modifier to use. So, actually, wait, let me double check something about my boon real quick on how, whether that's, so I can know for the future. But I'm just using a dagger, so that's going to be a uh, 21. 21 to hit. That hits, yep. Damage. That is a, where is it? Oh, it's in here. I didn't pull it yet. There you pull my string. Uh, Five points of damage. Five points of damage. Nice. Okay. My strength is know. better. Is it rampage damage? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just pure fear. He piddled a little bit in his pants. No. Oh, come <laughs> on. I'm not Cyril. I'm not Cyril or Ray. I'm not Cyril. Oh, Paige. I had rolled an 18. It hits. Sweet. What's your damage? With the quarterstaff. Because I'm in, I'm just all for hitting things until it works. That's gonna be five damage. Five damage. Let's add this. Five damage. Oh, you guys are not okay. This is good. You're doing good, ish. <laughs> <laughs> I love meager. That. That's it. I appreciate the vote of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> the um, the mimic table just grows one long arm tentacle and tries to whack you with it does <laughs> oh does a nine hit no it does not it does not all right last he one it away with his shield so and then he tries to come back and does oh an eight you're you're just like back flipping out of the way right now i'm invincible <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna go well for you and it's going to stay right there, right up in your face. Okay. Um, Paige, it's your turn. Holy crap, it's my turn. So I am going to... Who is that? That is, is that, uh, um... Billy's... Bellinis. Oh, that's Bellini? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know. Someone's very angry. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, well. It's not the person I called Bellini. <laughs> so I am going to, again, swing at it with, eh, let's use the short sword this time, because I can. All right. 11. Does an 11 hit? It does not, unfortunately. Yeah, story of my life. <laughs> so you you swing at it, and it just it just kind of moves out of the way, kind of venom like, and just like, <laughs> and it gives you this look like, are you even trying? Do you even go here? Oh. <laughs> okay. Worry. When did tables use vicious mockery? <laughs> <laughs> my 
my thing. It stole my thing. I'm offended. Um, and then the maid's gonna look at you and be like, "Honestly, dear, I thought you would do better." And Honestly, dear, I thought you were sane. <laughs> and she's going to uh, you're a monk, with disadvantage. Right? What's up? The maid's attacking with disadvantage because of my vicious mockery at the beginning. Yes. Yes. What I was going to say is, is a page a monk? Yes. You can make a bonus action offhand attack. Just a punch attack without I using can... any points at all. Then I will definitely fucking do that. Oh. Also, real quick, isn't there flanking since your lot is on the other side? I don't know if we're playing with flanking. I don't, That's yeah, I've ruling. never done that yet, so. Yeah. Would That's that be what, out. advantage? That would be advantage. It gives everybody advantage. Otherwise, sure, fuck it, do it. You guys need it. <laughs> oh. I I feel so. For the vote of confidence, right there. Page, another roll with advantage. So you have advantage. So do it again. All right. Oh, much better. So the unarmed strike is going to be a sixteen. You hit. Yay. For six damage! Yes! Nice. Okay. And that is just bludgeoning? Yes. That's yes. Okay, that's good. Now apply that. Guys, yes! You have so much further to go! Okay. I legit just punched a table. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> okay. Um, now the ghost looks at you. And, I mean, I guess that didn't happen. So she's a little impressed. She's like, well done, dear. Except... Uh, I'm going to need you to make charisma saving throw. Ooh. Ah, for fuck's sake. The curse of being drunk, I'm not very charismatic. <laughs> How does a 10 do? So you fail. Story and, of life. And, um, she just, <laughs> she, like, puts on a a swim cap, tucks her head, her hair away, and just goes whoop and dives right into you. You have now been possessed. Road. Oh. So, road. Ghost is now in control of your body. And oh no, we're uh, not going to go there. That, that's not good. <laughs> uh, da, 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 let's see here. The ghost Phrasing. Don't provoke attack of opportunity <laughs> from a certain artificer. Does it? No, I don't I think don't it does. Think so. No, uh, it, you just okay, jumped right okay. into your friend here. So uh, let's see. The ghost is now in control of the body, but doesn't deprive the target of its awareness. So you know what's happening. Um, the, the ghost can't be targeted by any attack, spell, or other effect except the ones that turn undead. And it retains the, its alignment, intelligence, and wisdom, charisma, and, and its immunity to being charmed and frightened. Uh, it otherwise uses the possessed target skills but or statistics, but doesn't gain access to the target's knowledge, class, features, or proficiencies. The possession lasts until the body drops to zero hit points. Oh, wow, I shouldn't have done this. The ghost ends, <laughs> ends it as a bonus, or the ghost ends it as a bonus turn. Let's see here. Or it's forced out by things like dispel e good and evil. Um, Where the possession just reappears, unoccupied space. Okay, yeah. You. She starts fixing your clothing and tucking in your pants because it oh. really bothered her that your, your shirt was untucked and like one of your buttons was undone and you're just, you are a professional. I'm All right. drunk half the time, get away from me. You know, this stuff is poison and she takes oh. her flask you fucking... and tosses it across the room. <laughs> okay, Look, where the I fuck is an exorcist? I will allow you to <laughs> smack yourself. I was gonna say, as a, <laughs> is there any way as a reaction I can attempt to catch the flask? You you already oh, uh, used your reaction. No, you what can't. You, you did, yeah. Opportunity attack. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> that is that's her turn. Um. Wow, like I don't know where to go with that one I now. Have poison resistance. Um, sure, lad. Question: I have holy water in my inventory. Can I use that to try 
to fix the possession. If you can shove it down her throat and make her drink it. Oh, there's a I lot, will of allow it a lot of to... mimic. How are you not phrasing boom this? Like, get on the... <laughs> I'm waiting for. I'm just waiting because I know you're going to keep saying lines. I'm just like I'm just waiting for all the time to say one giant phrasing. Just one giant <laughs> phrasing. Okay, so yes. Um, okay. If you can get so her that, to drink it, okay. I'll let so her. I'm expel. gonna. I'm gonna just whip out the rape here. Put away the fiddle. <sighs> all right, Babu. Let's do this. And I <laughs> attempt to stab. <laughs> because Babu is the rape here. The mimic right in front. Mimic. Of me. Okay. So you'll have to come into the room to do it because I believe. Oh, I thought I was. I thought it was out. Oh, there's a door there. Yeah, I'm sorry, it was covering it. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Stab. Yes. With advantage, 17 on the die, 21 to hit. You hit. Okay, so I'm gonna expend all my bardic dice to do an initial 2d6 psychic damage along with my rapier damage. Okay. So that is eight piercing damage, however you do it. Okay. And psychic damage is 12. 12, 12 extra damage? Yes, 12 psychic. Oh my God. Can we add that? <laughs> Why is this not working? Hang on. So this has to be 12. There we go. And this has to be eight. Oh, wow. Well done. Okay. Um, it turns to face you. There's like an eye that opens up on your side. It, it, it's gunning for you now. Go ahead is that your, go is that your turn? Can. I'm going to say, outlaw police work and back up, provoking an attack of opportunity. Come on, <laughs> do it. Okay, I guess it makes it makes um what's this thing called? A pseudopod attack at you. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, it is. It does a 24 hit. Yeah, just a little. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Too high. You okay. have to roll lower. I'm not I'm not even it's just it's digital dice too, guys. You take <laughs> you take five bludgeoning damage and um and acid. No. It was not a bite. And right. uh, you are, it's adhesive. You're stuck <laughs> to it. Okay, then I do not move. I am back here. <sighs> well, yeah, just like the insane asylum. Wait, so <laughs> you're not doing that turn? No, I assumed I would be pulled back because it's adhesive. He tried to investigate, he tried to move back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Couldn't. But because of that reaction attack and being adhesive, I'm assuming it canceled. I'm confused. Adhesive means he's stuck to it. He can't yeah. move away, away from it. He oh, tried to so, move away, which provoked oh, the opportunity Oh, so you should be like, attack. sorry, it, I guess my thing didn't update. You're stuck there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's your turn. Yep. Why would you do but that? But everyone else can do is then aid. This is called tanking 101. Oh my God, guys. Okay, so the Spectre's turn. I forgot you existed. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. The Spectre is still looking at Archer's fine clothing God damn it. and goes to gently caress him again um, and tries to drain his life for oh. 15. Does 15 hit? Yes. Okay, that's a uh, thirteen necrotic damage. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, I am down. Shit. Uh, we're and going, we're going down now, on, kids. On, and my actual life total that puts me at negative ten. Oof. Okay, but you're you're at you're zero. Okay. You're at zero, and it, yeah, that's the end of your turn. Oh, that's not the end of your turn. Okay. Well, there's a healing thing up. You, you'll that get some would points. have healed next turn, maybe. Concentration holds. Uh, who who cast yet, that so. spell? There's a healing spell up? Felonies. Right? Felonies. Felonies. Yeah, okay. So, um... And how many times has that been used? Because it's only 
one plus your spellcasting ability modifier, right? But you can do it. Shh. Okay. Archer meager. <laughs> meager. Um, okay. Meager saw that massive hit that he took. Um, would, would you like me to let you know that it would be uh, one more time? Okay. I guess Sorry. now that it's been said. Go ahead, Meager. Um, okay. Mini Meager is going to swing around and kind of move to the spot where the ghost was. The, the specter, the maid ghost was, so that he's beside me. And the I maid ghost my... is still there. No, the maid ghost is in. Oh, right. Yeah, in. I should just put something over top. I can't even. There's so there's such a clusterfuck of people here <laughs> that I can't even touch my monsters. Okay. Not my fault. I didn't do it. Okay. Uh, Meeker's going to take a sword and just try and hack at the the pseudopod that's holding uh, Sherlad. Four? Making an attack for 14 plus something. You hit. Uh, 20, dirty 20. Okay. Uh, hit four. Oh, I just lost my D8. Let me grab another one. Oof. Uh, for six slashing damage, magic slashing damage, in case it matters. Okay. Let me add that on. And then. Oh, can I say that that was Booming Blade? Yeah, go for it. Okay, that was Booming Blade. So when I did that, I channeled so Booming Blade the, into what's my the energy. Booming blade? There's no extra damage. It's only- Oh, you right, you're too, you're too low level. You're too low level to get the extra damage. It's not gonna fucking go in yet. Just, just in case. All right. And then Mini Meager is going to do another one of those force attacks for- oof. My metal dice are rolling real nice. Uh, that's going to be D8 plus two. So, sorry, that's going to be a 18 to hit. Yep. And then nine force damage as Mini Meager just kind of walks up and just Bow! Guys, it's, it's looking real rough. It's looking real rough. I just pet my nigger. Good part. job, little guy. What was that? Oh, I just... No, no. Somebody said something. I think it's Alistair? No, I said right in the solar plexus. Oh, <laughs> right in the solar plexus. Belinus, my love. So uh, the healing spirit is no longer there as she takes the last one. But she's going to use all her strength to try to pick up her fallen comrade as she casts Cure Wounds at second level. Okay. So... Giving him nine health. You're alive! Okay. Do you want me to roll to see if she can actually pick up his... I mean, you're not, gonna, you're not going to move away, right? If you move away, you're going to get opportunity attacks? Oh, I'm going to move what? away afterwards, but I'm going to hop and not provoke it. Well, Fuck. here's the question: okay. How how is there provoke? If he moves away, there's a she's surrounded. There's stuff that there's can the hit mimic her. right okay, there. I'm seeing the possession. Yeah, that's what I wasn't seeing earlier. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. So yes. Um. You you. I'm gonna. Let, I'm gonna. Archers. Just get a ten. Just roll me a ten, please. Yeah, that bard. I can't do that for you. <laughs> No, just take him. Bardic. Take him and go. Just take okay, him I'm and go. Okay, cool. That works. <laughs> really, just take him and go. Wow. Uh, That's uh, what she said? Right, hey. boom. I'm trying here. Maybe, maybe she said it after, but, you know, at least she said it. <laughs> All right, so where are you going? Um, 10 feet. So let's just take my guy and go there. All right, I'll move Archer to be with you right there. I mean, <laughs> oh, this one just turns around and looks at you like, I love that sweater. It's really nice. I'm going to touch it again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Go after Sterling. the robot. Sterling. It's your turn. Mm. 
What would Archer do? Oh, Shoot. No. Rampage. Oh, yeah. It's my, duh, my turn. Brain fart. That's what I get for coming back from you know the dead. <laughs> okay. It's totally understandable. It's the natural so, process of resurrection. <laughs> so try to think. Uh, fuck. I believe in you. Uh, and I'm so gonna, so I'm, do this I'm, unnamed maid spirit that just really <laughs> thinks you're attractive. She thinks maybe <clears throat> that if she may you may be able to stay with her forever. She's gonna right, press well, you some more. Uh, just double check. You can use a bonus action in any order, right? Like you do a bonus, then you're standard. Yeah. Cool. So bonus action. I am going to use my make sure I find it real quick. I'm going to cast Shadow Blade. Okay. Oh, here we now, go. Now, how is the lighting in this room? Um, it's dim, it- it's dimly lit. All right, yes. so I'm Thank going to you. use a shadow blade to attack the specter, and because it's dim light, I get advantage. Go nice. for it. Does advantage uh, at least help? We're about we're to find hoping. out. Hold on. Because I'm well, not proficient with, so I said short sword, so it's going to be. Does an 11 hit? With, with advantage. advantage, yeah, that that was the higher. Did, did the, you have the, bardic inspiration or like anything? No, nope. the one that had it was Bellini. Can I use my reaction to give him guidance on this? I'm gonna allow <laughs> it because oh, just, he needs he needs two two points. <laughs> I, I think I think we kind of jinxed it earlier when I said what well, my dying wards would hey, be if we were to die. Hey, wait, I forgot, guys. Roll roll a d4 because you're blessed because I. I I dressed up for you guys. Oh yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, we're oh. I forgot about that. We got we got inspiration. <laughs> Do you have inspiration? Hold on. So I said it was a 14 hit. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. It's gonna be two D8 of psychic damage then. Okay. Uh, if I can find my D8s. That is not D8. There's one. There's the other. From the same set that almost killed me there. Let's we'll see if these roll better. Come on. Nine points of damage. Nice. Okay. That's not I'm... bad. That's not bad. Yeah. Psychic. Nice. Nice. Okay. 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 We're getting somewhere, guys. <laughs> I don't want to see the comment section right and... now. Hold on. I got to see the. <laughs> oh, hi, Issa. Okay. Now, but, uh, so. As I strike, I just you just hear a, another. Rampage. Rampage. This specter looks at you like, how could you do this? We were in love. Like, <laughs> and she was really that, betrayed. I don't know how comment, you could do this to her. At that comment, real quick, the stream is set for adults right the, before it, right? You did set the age limit yeah, yes, on there? Yes, yes. Cool. Archer is going to say, because one of his classic lines to anything he fights, eat a bag of dicks, specter. It, it winks at you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next is emotional the mimic. Who is gonna say damage. to the page is gonna say to the maid just I, I don't know what's going on with him either. I I don't understand any of him. I'm sorry. Right? And you you just <laughs> you just you're like you feel yourself nod. <laughs> Um, this mimic is going to punch Mini Meager. Mm. He's going to multi attack Mini Meager with two pseudo attacks. You pseudo monster! Attacks. That's approve, exactly what it thinks monster. about yours, about your, your Mini Meager here. Um, does a ooh, 11 hit? 11 does not hit. I'm getting excited that it's not hitting you guys. Just clangs off of Mini Meager's <laughs> armor. It has a 19 hit. 19 does. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have said anything. Um, it takes five damage, bludgeoning. And it's stuck. <laughs> um, and then, because fuck it, why not? It's going to try and um, take Mini Meager off by biting it. So he's going to make a bite attack. 
Let's see. Does 10 hit? 10 does not hit. But Mini Meager's like, go fuck yourself and punches him in the tooth. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> for shits and giggles, Good job, little buddy. flings you away. It's like, no, Mini I don't want it. It bit me. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, is Mini Meager like that bear from that one episode? Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Like side, just I, that's all I'm imagining now. Is the whole when you say little buddy, is that bear? Paige, what would you like to do? Can Paige do anything? Isn't Paige possess it? Yeah. I, you know what? Because I'm the DM and I can do this, I'm gonna let <laughs> you roll a wisdom save and see if you can force control of your body and not smack Meager across the face. Heimlich, Heimlich maneuver. Come on. <laughs> oh no. If depending on the save, it's gonna be the whole get out, you smoky bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Come on, you can do 15? it. Fifteen? Nice. Okay, you know what? You're just like, get out of me, and your body just contorts all weird, and you see like the maids like trying to hold on to you, and you you just Fuck you, bitch. You grab her by the hair and throw her out of you. Just like rip her out of you. And you are no longer possessed. Ha! Hey, you she think I right got all those five rolls for nothing? Okay, so does she have a tattoo on the back that says this is the angel of death? And <laughs> we're about <laughs> to see it in the town here. Pam Booby style. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. All right, we got our Pam. We got our Pam. <laughs> we're, we're only we're only missing Lana now. <laughs> Unfortunately, goes... you will not find one here. <laughs> Looks pissed and is going to reach out and try and grab you, Paige. Oh yeah, this is that's a okay. Oh, fuck, twenty one hits. Um. Mini Meager has a reaction that it can do where it can impose disadvantage on something within five feet of him. Wonderful. Nice. So Mini Meager's going to try and deflect it. Mini Meager's just carrying this fight. Mini Meager sucks, okay? <laughs> because he just got a 23. Like, she got a 20. World higher. I tried. <laughs> um, so she just shoves her hand right into your heart, and you take 15 necrotic damage. Ow! <laughs> Dang. And then we're back to the top of the round, and it's your lad. Shot through the heart. <sighs> okay. You're to blame, guys. No. Y'all give no. Archer Y'all give Archer will get the mimic. <laughs> you. Okay, so I am so stuck. This is not ideal. I'm gonna just look at it and go. You know, I'm enjoying being the Esmeralda here, but there's something over there. And I'd like you to make an intelligence saving throw. Oh, no. For the mimic. <laughs> nice. Mimics are smart. Right? 11. No, Phantasmal Force. It now sees in front of it a nice, delectable human that's within reach that is smacking it in the face. With psychic damage. All right. What? How much damage does it take? Uh, just one d six. Four. But it is distracting and can do an a investigation check on my turn against so, my spell save DC. How would you like to do this? So it's basically just tap tap, smack. That's all. So the, by this cycle. table sees this really juicy, delectable looking humanoid. And it's like, yes, 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 yes. It throws you and just, no, I don't want this one no more. Goes for it. And this, and this I guess the human just, yeah. and the table just dies, just dead. Okay. Let's delete that. You, One round you no longer have a mimic. Okay. And they no longer have a table. 
<laughs> yep, the table is is kaput. All right. Um, it is now the specter's turn. Damn it. Who looks really betrayed that Archer stabbed it because I thought we had something special, you know? Well, God, they're slashing, well, psyching those short sword. But also, it's kind of upset at Bellinus for taking its man away. <laughs> so, you bitch! And it goes to touch you, but I'm assuming an eight does not hit. Eight does not. So you just <laughs> you just sidestep it, and it just it can't believe that this is happening right now. Bellinus is going to give it a nice little wink as she tries to um as she misses i will let you do that does one psychic damage you're getting in her head <laughs> so i so get see. hit but the rabbit doesn't okay rabbit i'm gonna have to cut your foot off whoa 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 <laughs> i'm okay with this yeah i picked yeah. you up okay <laughs> I, I saved you <laughs> Mir. Uh, all right, this thing is gone. I'm gonna keep wailing away at this this maid. Just be like, you know, who forgets to clean up the tea for like days? Come on now. She looks offended, shocked. Uh, how you don't know how hard it is being her guy. Okay? It's hard, and I hit, hit her for a seven, uh, twenty-three. You hit. Uh, that's gonna be uh, plus four. I mean, five damage, five slashing damage. Okay. Magical, magical slashing. Magical slashing damage. And then Meager's gonna Meager get her, buddy. And Meager's like beep boop, burp. beep boop. I'm a robot. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. Beep boop. I'm a robot. Does a fourteen hit? It what is your hit cloud? It does. Yeah. Meager's gonna hit her four. Six force damage. Just bow. Dang. So it started she's she's starting to not look so great. I mean, her ghostly self, her hair is falling out. It's weird, like out of her nice bun. You're her a aprons. bad maid. <laughs> You're a bad robot. Not a, You're robot. a bad robot. You Not a robot. Not a robot. I am a fully automated, self-aware, biomechanical android. Robot. Mini Meager is a robot. Robot. He's a good Zenith. robot, and I love him. That's weird. You're weird. You're weird. You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> what, would you, what would you like to do? This whole thing is weird, but I ain't saying nothing about that. I'm gonna get back in your body. I'm gonna wear you like a suit. Raising. Hey. <laughs> what would you like to do? Deadpool. Oh, sorry. I did miss that you asked what I wanted to do. My apologies. No um, problem. Did that specter actually come up to me or does it have like a really long reach? Oh, it came up to you. Sorry. I didn't even move it. Okay. Bam. So I'm just going to blast it with a ice knife. Oh, oh no. And I crit. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> okay. Do it. So Wait, hang on. D10. Oh no. He here's the problem. You remember that deck save that's the secondary part of that? Mm -hmm. Then five feet of the target. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, Archer. You tried to take my foot. I was like, what was that about saving my life? <laughs> <laughs> Mother <laughs> seven. Oh no. Uh, you and Dice are not cooperating today, sir. No, my D20s aren't. The other ones are rolling fine. It's the D20s that hate me. I'll allow a deck save. You're trying you, you're gonna die. <laughs> so how are you doing criticals you know what go do do a brutal critical it's, it's awesome so add oh. another d10 yeah 
You do the full, uh, so it, how, what's the damage oh. for that? What dice do you roll? It's a D10, D10 for the and then, for then I do. Okay, so you do automatic, you automatically do 10 damage and okay. then roll your dice. So 20 damage. Okay. Oh. So, and then it needs to do the deck saving throw to, okay. for the cold damage. Okay, so it has resistance to cold damage, but not but from non magical. This is magical, so you should yeah. do it. Four, it failed. And then this is going to be the max plus whatever. Yep. Wow, the dice love me today, but I am so sorry, Archer. So that's How many? Four. Damn, I'm down again. <laughs> What's your max? What's your max, bud? Um, so here's three, here's, what I'm, here's what I'm gonna roll that. Here's what I'm gonna so, what I'm gonna do for that. As you just destroy this specter, it explodes and kind of shields Archer from the damage that you're it's gonna take. I mean, and it you loves don't him. die. It loves him. It loves him. It dies for him. It's a yonder mm -hmm. adds max. <laughs> so you I mean, can Katya. stay at what you had. Yeah, it was Katya. Uh, where is this? So we are down a specter now. Hey, just, just like, I almost feel bad for the little dimwit. <laughs> she's, she's really in love with you. She really loved Art. you and, and that really nice turtleneck. <laughs> Yeah, and Archer and Archer just goes. Okay. Nope. Okay. Archer just Archer just has just is no shits given on what just happened with the Spectre. <laughs> Archer, it is your turn. Alright. So I'm gonna move because five, ten. No, actually. So I'm gonna move twenty feet here. Because okay. 5, 10, 15, 20. And then I'm going to roll to hit the remaining specter with my shadow blade still. So I get advanced. There's not concentration on that. Is there concentration? That's only if I get hit, right? Yeah. Okay. And I haven't been hit since I cast it. Cool. No, because somebody died for you. That's a nat 20. <laughs> Okay, right. then that one finally. <laughs> About time. Okay, yeah. No, make it brutal. You're okay. you're in full rampage mode as our So oh, I think he just one shot. Yeah, that's, that's two D eight of psychic damage. That's if you're going off max damage just on the die alone, that's sixteen points before the adding a ten. Okay. That's sixteen you're points made. without the bonus. And with the bonus, it's what? Well, you said it was a plus 10. Just add 10 to whatever the max is, right? Okay, so then there you go. Yeah, that, then that would be 26 points of damage, if that's the case. You psychic. just destroy her and she disappears. You guys are now out of combat. I know, this is going to be like How stabbing. How are we feeling? That definitely could have been better. We have been in this house, what, a good half an hour? And we've already had to fight curtains, a table, a maid, and whatever the hell was going after Archer. What well, the hell? I'm having fun. I mean, excitement, fun, just... <laughs> what the... Uh... And I was possessed by a maid. <laughs> and you're alive. I saved it, guys, so I'm pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so proud. I want to take a drink, but the bitch poured it out. No, she just, just threw, threw it across she the room. Just threw it. There might be some left. Phrasing. I'll let you go pick oh. it up. <laughs> I will run over to that fucking flask. So in our inventory, we have potion healing. Yes, one. Yes, yes. Okay, I am drinking that. That's what, 2d4 plus 4? Yeah, same here. <laughs> uh, it's a regular one, so it's 2d2 plus 2, right? 
2d2 plus 2. 2d2 yeah. 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 okay. d2. Motherfucker. <laughs> it's a d2. Okay. Flip a coin. Flip the coin. That's, that's enough to heal me up back to normal. And I press the digitate away the blood, cleaning my clothes. Because I'm a performer. I'm better than this. You're so fabulous. I was going to say, I'm going to go ahead and use my potion as well. Uh, what was the healing on that again? 2d4 plus, plus 2. two. While everybody's drinking their potion, Meager, Meager pulls Mini Meager aside and just starts casting the Mending Cantrip on him to repair some of the damage that he took. <laughs> back up. I heal so myself. I can heal eight him with that. points. Eight points. Like, Same I go here. Up eight, points. eight points. That and was some garbage. I say, like, oh, <laughs> made for you. I'm good. I'm go get back in double digits. <laughs> no but, kidding. But uh, I know. But uh, all Archer's going to say as he uh, drinks, as yeah, the only thing that's going to, the only thing that would kill me would be the cumulative hangover I'll have. Nice done. No. They used uh, to sell me alcohol, saying it would banish my demons. What the hell is up with that? Just not drinking enough. <laughs> Drink really. more. New no goal. No. <laughs> if the mimic, if the specter wasn't killed though by some by uh, Malazzo with the ice knife though, I actually had a spell in mind that definitely would have done it. But that was still nice. That was a good touch with the ice knife. I was scared for you for a second there. I was I, I'm too. not gonna lie. Just a little bit. Why won't you refresh? Okay, we'll just redo it. Okay, so where do you, what do you guys want to do? I want to sleep. <laughs> You can, you, can try, you can try and hold up and take a short rest. Uh, I don't think that will give me my uh, spell like slots back, so. Nope. We're good. Yeah, yeah I think we also only, I only should probably more. check out the room. You know. The room you just destroyed? Just drew blood yeah. In. Is there anything of interest in this room? Yeah, I was going to ask if I well, can Well, the table is missing. Yep. Oh, you so <laughs> made sure of Hold that. On. Would you like Hold to on. roll for it? Sure. Investigation? I'll... Yes. Can I help him for advantage? Sure. While they're doing the roll real quick, um, did any food fall on the floor when the table turned to a mimic, or was the food part of the mimic? The food was part of the mimic. Okay, never mind then. With advantage, I got a 21. Investigation. Got a 21. Okay, so if you... You were looking, you're really going over this room and you find right in the corner where you are, there is a, a cristalera, a cabinet. What do, what do we call this in, in English? China cabinet. A China cabinet, there we go. Um, there's a China cabinet. You've opened it up, you're going through it and you find a box of like, like brooches. There's like two or three in them. It's it's really weird, um, and they're not they're 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 expensive. They're not from this, and they're not from this area. Uh, these seem to be strange. Anybody know what these things are? Can I cast detect magic on these things? You can. Go for it. Does that is that require a roll? Detect magic? No, that would be. Uh, Are you going to waste a spell slot, or is, is detect magic? Is that is? Can that be ritual? First that one? can be a yes, ritual. Yes, it is. Do you want to do it as a ritual? Yeah, for sure. Okay. And you'll Does be losing require... your bardic. I don't think it needs a roll. No, it doesn't need a roll. Just... No, yeah. okay. I just need Time. to focus on it for ten minutes. So. Get, you're gonna focus on that for 10 minutes i'm gonna let this load because i just made this up and you now have a brooch of shielding just one <laughs> just one okay Only one of them was magic but it, the, mm -hmm. the other ones are like super expensive and just really ornate and not from around here you've never seen quite something quite like, like this can i so that lends credence hold on could i attempt sleight of hand to take one of them as restitutions for my injuries <laughs> there's no one around you mean you, clothing you issues well there's every, there's the party members are you trying to hide it from them yes okay go for it 
Are you trying to take the one that's in my hand? Okay, who's uh, got what? Who has regular brooches and who has a brooch of shielding? You have the brooch of shielding, Galenus, yeah. because you were looking yeah. at them. Yeah, I handed him that one. I've got at least a couple other ones in my hand. I'm You've got two one. other ones, so no, you I'll just look at yeah, I'll Roll me perception. I don't think it matters because uh, my sleight of hand was a uh, eight. It matters. Okay. I got a five. So, <laughs> Meager, you you have two in your hand. You're talking to Belinus for like five seconds. And then when you look back, you have one. Huh. It's a ghost brooch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> ghost bullshit in here. Put well, no, duh, we killed like two of them. I'm guessing um, I am attuned to mm. it now. I don't play with attunement. Fuck that. <laughs> yes, it's yours. Uh, you wear it if you have other things. It doesn't matter. Where would you guys like to go? What would you like to do? Uh, yes, we head back out. Uh, should we yeah. see what those that other door in the foyer was? Yeah, that's actually what I was going to do. I was going to head over here and see if anyone else wants to join before I open this door. Maybe, uh, yeah. Archer, Archer, maybe stay back a little bit this time so you don't, you know, die. die. So again, she's going to take the long route around the rug. <laughs> I'm just tromping. Okay, let me just... Uh... Yeah, no, I went straight across Real that life. rug. I mean, I already stepped on basically every square of that rug that I could to try and see if there's anything mm-hmm. under it, so. All right, so you're going in here. You have a study. Oh, cool. Would you like to go inside? I do percept- will. You can do- roll me a perception inside. check. Yeah, I was wondering if perception is there anything of inter- that a possible so a- interest before I go in. You noted. Okay, roll me perception. Really? Fuck you, die. It literally was like tilting toward 18 and fell on a five. I'll let someone yeah, help actually, you. Which is actually a four because neg one. Uh-huh. I'll let someone help you and give you advantage. Does anyone right want there. to? I'm right there. I'll, I'll help. You can roll again. I'm like, what the fuck's this roll? Nope, that was worse. God damn it. <laughs> that, that's a, that's a, that's a uh, modified one. God damn it. This, I put alcohol in the room for you. Okay. We're, we're okay, going so to blame that I have blood Is in my there eyes. anything towards this direction? I think I'm painting this right. Which direction? Here? That one. That, yeah. You could go in there. Yeah, I'm just going to wander. So there are two doors here. I'm going to go towards the first one. Okay. So you see a bathroom. Would you like to go inside? Hmm. No. Too trashy. Too trashy. (laughs) All right. I'm going to go up one. Can uh, Meager go and check out the bathroom? You can go and check out the bathroom. People just sometimes they hide drugs in here. Investigation check. You know from experience? I mean, uh, investigation, uh, 16. 16. Let me see what this is. Okay. So when you open the door, you see a small bathroom, big enough for one to two people. The floor is tiled in a checkered pattern. A single gas lamp lights the room. The walls have been painted white, but it's faded and a little dingy. There's, there are two rugs on the floor, one by the toilet, one in front of the sink in the mirror. Um, you look in the mirror and when you look in the mirror, your reflection catches your eye. Uh, you've also noticed that at the sink is a tube of lipstick. Okay. Uh, but, is- is the color of the, so I'm going to take the tube of lipstick lipstick and open it. Is the color the same as the color that was on the teacup? It is, yeah. Interesting. Uh, I think I found a clue, guys. Now, when you looked in the mirror, your reflection winked at you. Well, that's normal. It's normal? Legit? Yeah. You're okay? Yeah. Can you roll me a wisdom saving throw? Oh, I, I can, but I don't want to. Oh, that's a 16. Okay. So 
you, you don't take, you're not stunned, but like, here's what happens. You blink at, as this, you're, the image of you winks at you and you blink. And then it's Lenore standing in front of you on the other side of the mirror. I, I think I she smiles, her. she leans in closer and she, you know, waves you in. But as she does that, she takes out this tube of lipstick and puts it on. The same tube of lipstick that you were just holding. Am I still holding it? No. Okay. <laughs> Mina was totally about to put it on. <laughs> her lips. Um, she's gonna pass it back to you so that you can do that. Okay. Mira. Mira is like, yeah. Hmm? Puts it on. Um, fixes her hair. Leans into the mirror towards you. Puckers a little. Are you telling anybody? Okay. Are you uh, saying guys, I, I to... found a clue. I think I found her. Are you close to the mirror? You're leaning <laughs> in at all? Yeah, probably. Cool. So she grabs your head and smashes here. it against the mirror. Ow. You take just one <laughs> point of damage. Okay. <laughs> Do I see that coming back? Do you? Probably. Were you, in the, were you in the doorway? I was nearby, and then he said, I think I found roll, something roll perception. coming back. All right. That's a D6. Why did I do that? Okay, 18. Okay, so you see Meager put some lipstick on and then smash his face against the mirror. <laughs> I mean, I've seen some wild parties, but okay. Um, so, as they're in the bathroom, um, was that an office? It is. Would you like to investigate it? Yes, Belenice wants to go in there and see if anything triggers um, anything from what she saw her do from the picture or if there's another picture giving her any type of clue. So. And she's going to shut the door when she walks in. Okay. Oh, my. So That's you'll risky. do that. Let me see. Where do I have here? I know I have it. I'm technically separating the party. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here we go. So <clears throat> you walk inside and you close the door. Inside the study is this beautiful hardwood writing desk with some parchment on it, a bottle of ink and a quill. Tux. What is this? Da, 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 da. So are you going to... Oh, yeah. Okay. So tucked into the desk is an armchair and behind it is some purple curtains covering a window. <laughs> that we all know better than to touch right now. <laughs> Your window. The walls are lined with more gas lamps than normal so that this room is brighter, um, more conducive for reading and stuff. Uh, there is a drink station in the corner of the room with a bottle of amber liquid in it, uh, open. <laughs> and across from it is a bookshelf. Are you going to investigate or are you going to try and our roll arcana? Let, let's do Arcana, because I think she wants to look more towards any hints at what she's already seen, and that okay. would be a dirty 20. Okay, so there's a sudden breeze in the room, and the papers on the desk rustle. She's going to go look at the papers, see if, she, uh, if there's anything on them. If not, she would like to try and what's the term, like free write? There is something on them. Okay. So the papers on the desk, you notice that the parchment goes from being really fresh to old yellowing sheets of parchment. And like they've been there a really long time and they have the same thing written on them over and over and over again. I never was, am always to be, no one ever saw me, no one ever will. I'm the one thing you will never have again. What am I? Over and over and over again. Good thing Sterling didn't find that. <laughs> um, she's going to take these papers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then she's going to go grab that brandy. Okay. And she's going to walk out drinking it. 
and hand it oh. to the papers to Archer and go figure this out and keep walking. So with the bottle, <laughs> you've you've you drank the potion. Oh, it's a potion. Dude? <laughs> <laughs> you drank it. Yeah, okay. right in front of our, uh, Archer. <clears throat> when you uh, roll one d six for me. Oh, 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 oh here dear. we go. Yeah, four. Yeah. four. Four. Okay, so you've just reduced your age by fourteen years. Oh, oh wow. Um. Wow. So does that mean belly you shrunk said, a little bit? Like, did how, you say four years or fourteen? Fourteen. How old is your character? Are you I dead? Go ahead and say like fourteen. Twenty-three. I think is what it like around where I was gonna be like young twenties. So yeah, I would be like nine. <laughs> so you now, you guys now have a nine-year-old with a bottle with an empty liquor bottle. Hold on, does, coming does out it... with papers in her hand, and her 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 outfit is just too big, and it, she's like stomping on it, and she's Hold like, "Pio Archer, come on." Hold on. What okay? What, did this effect happen before the door was open? Or she opened the door opened? and then took took a swig. Open, right? drank okay. it. Yeah, the taunt yeah. uh, Archer. <laughs> and now she's nine. And now she's nine years old. What? That's the... going in the quote section. I. Okay. So, I would say I need a drink. I, but I don't am trust going anything to need in this that. Mansion. I'm going to confiscate that from you. Hi. There's nothing left. She, she was, oh. there was just like a swig. Drink it all. Greedy. Karma. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. I didn't think anyone would drink it. Uh, so I'm going to move up here to the other door and open it and see what oh. I see. Um. Yeah, don't ever think that we're not going to do something. I fucking love will it. do anything. All right. Did I not warn you uh, enough I... about Melody. <laughs> so you find some stairs going down. Hmm. I'm scared of the dark. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> oh, wait. Actually, wait. Does Melody's mindset go back to that point, or is Melody still on the mind of their current old or their old age? I need to read this. It one wouldn't. Af- I don't think it would affect their mental age but now it's everything is going to be slightly different i'd imagine yeah no it's just physically it's just okay physical yep oh, a nine-year-old with the experience of a 23 year old you're gonna be set well it could be worse i couldn't have drank it i'm about i'm supposed to be about 40 i mean yeah could have got some gray out of your hair wow <laughs> I mean that was kind of the entire point of the of the statement, so I'm not too offended. Still, fuck you, <laughs> it's you man. <laughs> I just, aren't almost all of our characters in that age, especially for those of us who base ours on TV characters? Yeah, I mean, I'm like forty. We yeah. we don't say what age I'm because I'm a half elf. I age gracefully, so true. So, I mean, I'm a halfling. So, <laughs> are we going down the stairs? There was nothing else in the Not bathroom, yet. right? No. There was nothing else in the bathroom. Okay. I found some stairs, so uh, I'd advise us not going that way until we found at least the uh, probably uh, master's residence, I'd imagine. Oh, we can double check his story and uh, see if he's resting, not uh, absconded. Well, wouldn't be the worst idea. The hmm? So we don't want to go down to the basement? I mean, Mika kind of wants to go down to the basement since I saw the picture. I, I say, think we should go down to the basement. I, say, I mean, it Archer, can't be worse than the mimic. When oh, Archer here at the table, it then all of you one. can proceed first. The, roll one also, of being a cop. Don't ever say it could be worse. Also, I was going to say, fool. when Archer hears, let's not do this, he's going to be like, no, we're, we, we should go down. <laughs> do you want to go first? Boom. Uh, Mika will. Head first ish. If Archer wants to come with me, he can. Yeah, so we can just both be first. Stair- the stairs are big enough for us both to go down at the same time. Police. Bell and the niece will be right behind. 
All right. Yeah, protect the protect the child. <laughs> Are you guys? I'm gonna move you guys over. Just yeah, yeah. Wine but I'll be the cop last to one. Babysitter in less than a, in less than an hour. All right. Hey, wine. So oh, uh, I think I have to put you guys back on the yeah the map. You may have to take us off the other one. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just shoving you all on here. And yeah, we'll get ourselves in the order we were in when everyone's here, because I think I would have been like here, me, you're next to me. Which ones are the stairs here at the top top left? Un momento, por favor. Yep. Si, sí, señorita. I, say, I would assume where me and you are, the stairs actually hit the basement floor yeah, because of the direction the other stairs went. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, poor baby bunny. Okay, so yes, you come down from here. I can't, I have to go back and click the thing above her. There you go. Yep. You come down cool. from there, and this is the bottom. All right. Well, I'm going to take the first step off. Yep. So you descend the stairs to the basement, and the darkness grows. When you get to the bottom of the stairs, you realize that the only light source down here is the light from the top of the stairs. There are no lamps down here. So what with you that, like I'm going to pull out a torch and light it. Perfect. Once you do that, can I have some investigation and perception checks? Yeah, I'll oh. go investigation. I had nat 20 my perception. Awesome. 11 investigation. Yeah. Okay. So as you walk through this room, the floor is a dusty cobblestone, and the room seems to be filled with barrels stacked on top of each other. Some dried meats hang from the top from the ceiling. There are a few crates stacked in the corner of the room. With that investigation, you notice that the barrels are covered in dust, and they contain wine. Um, the crates... Uh, also have a thick coat of, coat of dust on them, but you can see that one of them's been opened and should be decided. They contain men and women's men, men and women's clothing from um, different eras. Like they might be costumes or something. You're not quite sure. Um, and at the end of the room, there is a large ornate stone door with intricate carvings etched into it swirls of vines and flowers and it looks to you like it's been well used there are a few muddy footprints on the floor and it's clear that the door has been opened recently what Above, kind of writing appears on it um it does anyone speak infernal i do uh, um, yes i do because my patron mm. is a demon mallory <laughs> so <laughs> over top of the door <laughs> is one word and it's in infernal and it says nevermore. What would you like to do? I mean, first off, the little Victorian person in my head is just fangirl squeeing. <laughs> <laughs> Second off, um, Paige is going to look at the muddy footprints to see if it's like a men's shoe or a woman's shoe. Investigate. Indeed. Help like, her out with that. Give her advantage. Okay. I was like, Archer is going to go see how old some of the wine is. to see if it's a good year. <clears throat> Roll me a d20. A luck. Mm. Bella needs Two. to go with him to see if he can, if she can find uh, Two? something she already drank to reverse this. Are you serious? A two? Keep yep, the baby away serious. from the alcohol. <laughs> okay, so you're going to cork one of these things. You're going to open it. And you manage to find the only barrel that is turned to vinegar. Oh! <laughs> no! Lovely. You take a nice big swig and just vinegar. I guess I was drinking. I was trying to see which one was a good year. So I was okay. looking to see if they're labeled. They're not labeled. But you managed to find the only one that's there. Okay, I'll, I'll at least say I maybe opened it to let the guest sniff, possibly. So but I wasn't planning on drinking it yet. Advantage because so I what got, did you get? I got a 15 for investigation. 
Well, so yeah, th those well, are men's footprints. Interesting. I take give a me look a at history the... check, someone. Uh, no, um, Paige, give me a history check. Okay. 11. They aren't, they didn't look the size of, um, they didn't look like they matched uh, Mr. Allen's footprints. It's the button. I swear to God, if Mr. Wilson did this, I'm going to just start watching all my old murder mysteries again. What are you going to do? Door's closed. I'm... So uh... I'm going to walk towards the door on the side okay. and try to open it from the side. Okay. So that way what are you doing? Don't... How, are, how are you trying to open the door? Just push like push on the side of the door. It doesn't move. Uh, Can I make my way over? Keyhole? There is not a keyhole. Rude. And uh, I go over and Inferno say never more in front of the door. The door opens. Wait, damn it. No, it doesn't. God damn it. It does now. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we still love you. Fucked it up, but oh well. <laughs> what would you like to do? Can we see anything in the door? No, it's dark. But I have the torch with me. Okay. you That gives you 10 feet? How, how big is that? DM adjudicates. What What's an actual, what's the actual torch then? I think it's 30 feet. 30 feet? Okay, you see 30 feet inside. So 25. you see right now it's just darkness and muddy. The, the cobblestone floors disappear and it's just mud. It's a dirt floor. To which I will offer Meager the one torch and pull out a spare. If one of you wants to go in, I'll sit here with more fire. He puts his sword back into his arm slot, his arm sheath, takes, a, takes the torch, and goes... And before you go, I light mine. So that way we Age at least have light hers. on both sides. And then Meager thinks better of it and hands the torch to uh, Mini Meager and goes, you carry it. And <laughs> takes out his sword and sends Mini Meager in first. Oh no, <laughs> the drone is going in first. Roll me a perception check for Mini Meager. Okay. Uh, that's a. Oh, well, I mean, he's not terrible. That's a nine. Can, can Bell and East walk in with Mini Meager? Yeah. You guys don't see anything. Okay. Meager's going to follow him behind Mini Meager. Okay. Okay. Just going to go right in next to, next to Meager. So are you guys going into the room? Yeah. 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 I'm right behind him. Okay. And I'm gonna hang walk it. on in. Mini meager. Yes, meager is. Is it like still dark in there? Yeah, it's dark. It, you got you have thirty feet of, of vision around you. Yeah. Everything else is dark. Okay. Is is everybody mm -hmm. coming into the room, or are we just standing in the doorway? I'm standing in the doorway with the torch. I. Uh... I am actually like right there. So mm -hmm. I'm right. There. I'm, like, I'm right here. Okay. Okay. Somewhere. <laughs> now, that's as far as everyone's going? For now, until I figure out what's in there. Yeah, yeah I was so like, you can see some still... walls or something. Everyone, there are, you can see the walls. You can see, or you can see to the walls, well, and you can only see the dark floor, the muddy floor. There are footprints that go towards the left side of the room and also come back to the, um, themselves. So it's been a well-traveled okay. path. Uh, when you say left side, are you talking about left side in our character's left, which would be here, or left is in the actual left of the map? Left of the map. Okay. Oh, I should totally fucking undo this. I totally, I'm like, you guys, I thought I undid this. I'm the worst. No, you're good. No, you're not. That's why I was saying outside, because that was a bit hey. sus, like. Don't We're going into the dark. Sneeze. You're, you're doing a good job. Don't worry. Hang on, hang on. I can fix oh, no, this. You're, hang you're handling all of us. You're good. Okay. This is what you can see so far. 
is it not? Why are you not doing the thing? You're on the wrong layer. No, I'm on objects and tokens. That's what I'm supposed to be on. Oh, there there we go. go. Yeah. All right. That's what you can see. Well, Bill needs to be over there. Oh, the door is in the floor away from Silent Hill. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if that helps our odds. Everyone in here, roll me a perception check. 16. Ouch. 15. Okay, let me roll. I can actually see. I got an 8. Okay. Um, you're okay. wow. They, it rolled really poorly. So yeah. you guys see something kind of run into the shadows. It. And I had rolled, a, a, I rolled a bro, 16 torches. if that helps anything. There's, there's something in here. You see something roll run into the into the shadows real quick. Babu? Uh, I, I saw like, it. Not like is going to go savage and like charge it. <laughs> no, baby bunny, <laughs> no. I'll, I'll just say, I'll just say uh, Bugs, you might want to stay behind us. So how far are you going in? Remember, Meager has the torch. I'll move here. And you have the okay. torch? You have a torch? Mini Meager's got a torch. Mini Meager's going to go in with him. Okay. Paige also has a torch. I want Mini so, Meager to go first as much as possible. You see that when you guys run up in there. A chest? A chest and do footprints I, leading to oh, the chest. Do I see what the oh. shadowy thing was? Or You do not. Roll me, a, roll me another perception. 50, uh, 16. Sorry, no. Uh, that's a 12. Yeah, you still can't see it. Um, is everybody okay. rolling the perception? Everyone can roll the perception. All right. All right. Oh, a... so everyone's in here? The door has slammed yes. shut, by the way. Yep. yep. Of course. Talk about room. I got a 22. Oh, you got a 22. Okay. I so got a six. here's what I'm going to do. 16 perception. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uncover everything. Let's go to the right layer. And you, that is not the right layer. Are we about to see Fluffy? No, we're going to see Banicula. Why is this not letting me select it? OK, there we go. Token layer. You see a shadow. Can I have another perception check? You can have all the perception checks you want. Uh, my dice is mostly cocked, but I mean it's barely cocked, but it's mostly eighteen. So you 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 kind of you see what this one. So you're kind of scanning the room for any more of them, and in the corner you see another shadow. Is there any definition to them? Just blobs right now. What would you like to do? They're not moving. They're just standing there watching. I'm going to go investigate the chest. Okay. What are you doing? As she's doing that, I'm going to go up and try to make friends with the shadow and as well <laughs> cast charm person. <laughs> so you're going to walk up to the shadows. <laughs> yes. Yep. Wait. As I any mean, as any nine-year-old would. Okay. I mean, at least they're adorable bunny. <laughs> Which means chomp. Which, can you go? Where? All right. You know, when she walks up, is this happening simultaneously? Like she's walking up and you're checking out the chest? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So what are you doing to the chest? You're just opening it? You're. I am first off checking the dang thing because after the attacking table and the curtain of death. You're gonna, okay. So roll me, roll me a perception check. I want to move to at least or insight two. either or whichever or insight uh investigation which other whichever one you like how about a 12 for investigation because okay. i actually have bonuses on that one so it's a wooden chest okay <laughs> i am in danger so what are you doing oh, help i need an adult <laughs> okay as you have just passed that area something grabs your leg 
just a hand coming out of this mound Who's getting grabbed? Bellinus. Just a mound of, like, just a hand appears out of this, like, where's this? Uh, words, Jessica. It's just a pile of dirt. The chest is on a pile of dirt. I'm going to need you to roll for initiative. <laughs> Mother. I'm in danger. <laughs> Lovely. At this I point, I think we're all in danger. Oh, no. With my, with my dice roll, it's out. So, <laughs> I'm in danger. All right. So, from the top, sure, lad. 19. 19. Okay. Meager. Uh, four. Meager. Yep. I rolled a two. Why are you Somebody not? was a little distracted. Okay. Uh, that also is a four. Let's go to this. Blinus. If you hit his, you're going to hate mine. Natural one. 22. Really? Who else got a one? Me. No, oh, no. you're a halfling. You don't get those. I got a three. You can re-roll ones. Yeah. You're a halfling. As a halfling. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yes, that's true. Lucky. How dare I forget. Uh, Sterling, what'd you get? Eight. Eight. Okay. And what did so you get, Paige? 20. 20. Better. Much better. Okay. Yeah. You're, these Wait, things what, did, what did Belitis get? 22. 22. Okay. Hey. 22. Okay. Oh. All right. Don't so, be out of range this time. We're actually... <laughs> I guess we'll start at the top here. Sure, lad? I'm at 19. I thought someone got above me with 20. Did it not rearrange everyone? I, I like rolled it. physical dice for the 20 to get the 20. Okay, let me redo it because I don't know what happened. It's not. You rolled it. You have a 22. No, you rolled a what? No. What's, what did you roll? I rolled I got an 18. 18. Wait, wait, wait. Sure, lad. What did you 19. roll? 19. Why mm -hmm. are you not changing? Because shenanigans. Okay. Who okay, who rolled uh the twenty-two then? Belenise. Belenise. Oh, that's why. Okay, hang on. So nineteen is here. Twenty-two bigger, you're four, right? Here's a four. Okay. Belenis is twenty-two. Sterling was eight. Yep. Eight. And you got 15, Paige? 20. 20. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. Bellinus, you've just been grabbed by a hand. A dead, gross, decaying hand. What you going to do about it? He's in a primal savagery try to uh claw it off her okay stranger danger uh 19 19 let's see i was gonna say stranger danger is definitely more true considering uh Belenis is a nine-year-old now <laughs> <laughs> safety so, whistle you're trying to acro out of its hole uh, or just rip yourself out? No, just uh, attack it and try to like claw it off me. Oh, you want to hit it? Okay, yeah. so then that that hits. What would you like to do? It does ten acid damage. It's dead. <laughs> no wait. Oh yeah, I I looked at the wrong thing. It's almost dead. It's almost dead. <laughs> does, does it let go? Or it lets go. And um, pulls itself out of this Phrasing. pile of ash. Yeah, it does. Phrasing. And you are now facing an ash zombie. Oh, so it's mostly dead. Mostly dead. <laughs> Sherlock. It's not dead. Okay, dude. so <laughs> let's see my distance. There's Sterling. There's other people. I am useless at this range. Five, 10, 15, 
machine and twenty twenty five thirty. I'm just going to if uh, if meager gets hit within range, I will do ready to action of vicious mockery. So Otherwise, not... I can't do it. Yeah, okay. If anything attacks meager within range of me with vicious mockery. Okay. Yep. That's so it. That's my turn. Then, so you hold your action for that. All right. Yep. So let's do the thing. What's next? Sterling. I hear you, buddy, but you can't come inside. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Real quick, I'm pretty sure they're in range. I just want to double check. How do you do the uh, distance finder thing on roll 20 again? There's a little ruler on the left. There's like a, it looks like a ruler in the circle. It's the fourth one down. Hold on. If you click that. Yeah, snap to center, snap to corner, no snapping. Yeah, and you can just snap click it. Snap to center. Have it snap to center, and then it'll let you cool. measure things. Yeah. Okay, yeah, kind of, kind of figure these guys are in range. I just want to make sure I know for future spells. Anyway, uh, I am going to cast Eldritch Blast on this one down here. Oh, I got to bring this one. Uh, the bottom one, the one I just pinged. Okay. That's a 19. Okay, that hits. Yeah, finally my dice are cooperating. <laughs> You're jinxing. That is six points of force damage. You mean okay. rampage? Oh yeah, no. Well, that I'm wrong that part because as I cast this, uh, you're just hearing me yell, "Danger zone!" <laughs> you're not wrong. Okay, okay. that's not, that's not reassuring. There, sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to be. Remember Wait, where we are. We're supposed to be reassuring. Am I supposed to be doing that? <laughs> So, Am I is the that drama? your turn? <laughs> this whole thing is the drama. Stop lying exactly. to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. All right. Uh, if that's your turn, are you moving at all? You moved already. Uh, no, I didn't move already. Alistair did on their turn. Uh, yep. Um, no, I'm going to stay right where I'm at for now. Okay. So then, it's going to be shadow number one. Let's see. <laughs> oh, well, they have two. numbers. Like crew member. So, <laughs> How far can this move? Oh, that's pretty far. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Remember the mimic, guys? Remember the mimic? <laughs> I don't it's know just, what you're talking you about. You shot the table. The table was angry. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, me, Meager's the one who didn't wipe his shoes. All right. So I need to get to the objects and tokens. Oh, my God. Belinus, why? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's so going to die. I'm sorry, guys. So wait. Please forgive me. Hold on. Wait. If, they're, wait, if Belinus's clothes are too big, how's our AC going to work? I'm just going to roll a dice for this. Cuteness damage, maybe? I don't <laughs> Why know. did you have to bring that one up? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll. I'm rolling a physical dice for this. Hang on. I need to get my dice out. I just want you <laughs> to know that your life depends on... I'm going to use a good one. I'm using, I'm using oh, one of no. my metal dice. Oh, no. For the good one. <laughs> No, this was for you to like. If if you if you pass the check, then it would just think you're really cute, and it wouldn't attack oh. you. Oh, but okay. It but... looks at you and it thinks that you're stew, and <laughs> wabbit season. It's wabbit season. <laughs> I'm sorry, there are no duck aracoca right now. Cut. <laughs> Shadow season, fire. It's, um... <laughs> <laughs> what does what does does a fifteen hit? Uh, yes. It's hitting that's AC. Concern. So we are all doing a heckin' concern. You you take nine necrotic damage, and you're 
your strength score is reduced by one oh, d4. No. What the hell? Um, I don't you know I what? don't have any strength to start with. Yeah, we're gonna just we're gonna ignore that part of that no. for you because you're gonna die. <laughs> you said no to damage, right? Nine points of necrotic damage. Okay. Sweet. You gonna add uwu to that? Uwu. It's nine <laughs> points of necrotic damage. Uwu. <laughs> doesn't make it any better how are you feeling oh still you still up the, the the my insides are on the outsides and pain <laughs> lots of pain oh, i'm so sorry i'm attacking like, like a fucking child i'm so sorry you you're horrible. the one that put the potion in the room he's only nine Oh, Fuck, I didn't anymore. think anyone was stupid enough to drink something in a fucking haunted house. <laughs> Plus, we don't know it's haunted. Well, hold on, hold on. No, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't expect anyone That's to That's after be you petty. fought ghosts. You found it after you fought ghosts, and we're like, you know what? Could have been squatters. Yeah. Could have been squatters. Oh, no, hold on. No, you didn't expect anyone to be petty to another player and drink something in a haunted house. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I still... The first mistake... Alcohol. The first mistake was thinking that we are not that stupid. Yeah. Yeah, we're players. Five, ten, no matter how five, smart five, we ten, actually are, we're going to do three, something five, stupid. 40. All right. Shadow number two comes <sighs> with Tamigur over here. Okay. It's in between you guys. So how close did it need to go before it got your reaction? That's within range. Okay, so cast Vicious Mockery at the shadow. Yeah, so needs to do wisdom save. This might help me. This is this is Shadow Number Two's turn. Oh my God! The world is seven. Yeah, no, it takes a D four psychic as I go. Okay. Yeah, uh, honey, the light isn't doing you favors. Okay, so you really just <laughs> lay into the sh the shadow, and, and you make it feel really attack. bad about its life, about its <laughs> shadow life. Like, I don't know how. I don't know how to even describe that. You just yelled at the shadow and made it sad. Oh, look, there's another form that should have stayed in the darkness. Ooh. Wow, okay. <laughs> so, as, Peanut it's, gallery. As, it's, hey. gonna, it's gonna hide now. That's, <laughs> I'm gonna roll and see if it can hide. And it got a nat 20. So you no longer see it. It's hidden right now. You you heard its feelings and it went <laughs> went up against the wall and hid. Or against the chest there and just hid. Good. It's gonna hide and stay like, there until Senpai notices you. You guys, wow. you guys are so mean, which is understandable. Um hey, that's Bellini, how you vicious mockery. Bellini. <laughs> the the uh, uh, zombie. That hat that's in front of you yeah. or behind you, <laughs> surround you. <laughs> Come on! Don't worry. When it's my turn, I might be able to help Bellini, hopefully. If she's still alive. Okay, you know what? I, d I did say hopefully. Nager, Nager's coming. Nager's coming eventually. You know what? Zombie zombies are stupid. <laughs> it turns. You ripped yourself away from it and it turned around and just was like, oh, hey, what's up, bro? And moves over to Paige because it's another attack. I, I'm sorry, I can't kill the baby bunny. <laughs> you get, you get, an, you get an opportunity attack. Hold on, Alina. yes you can. We've all killed the bunny in Last of Us. I have not. I've, I've never you. played I've it, never so played. fool's on you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think a seven will hit. No, so close. Uh, you, need, you needed fun. a one more. You needed one more. Poor little bunny. Oh, hey, can I roll my uh, bardic? No, yes. that expired. Yeah, I will totally expired. Oh, it expired. Yeah, when okay, you took I'll the ritual my casting. How about that? Roll your d4 because I'm because you're blessed. True, by the, true. Yeah. We didn't add d4s, and uh, that was eleven. Okay, so you hit. What would you like to do? So she's going to uh, use her hand that's not holding her now overly side shield. Uh, Dan, and... do you have that? Hmm? 
our screen has gone black. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm fiddling with it. All right, all right. Okay. So what do you, how much did you do? She's just going to hack at him and do seven points of damage. Okay, nice. It, cool. I should say. It's looking rough. Still not down? Still not down. Um, but when it, when it gets to you, it has a trait. Let's see what it can do here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so well, it, will the first bad. time that it takes damage, the zombie <laughs> must succeed on a, the zombie must succeed on a DC 10 constitution saving throw or gain just what is going on here? Any living, oh, That's any living creature. So, no, so any living creature within uh, five feet of the zombie when it got hurt must take a DC. I'm not doing this. No, come on. For <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, drinking that potion has saved you so many times. I can't do it. I'm sorry. No. Are you sure? Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. You will I die. Will. That Are potion you sure? is a the yeah. potion reverses aging and also adds to DM sympathy and plots oh and plotanium. Can you, you know make me a, can you make me a constitution saving throw, DC 10? You just have to get 10. Oh. So you gotta get. For a con? Yeah. I did it. Okay, cool. Remember, if you didn't, bless still affects that. You only got to use it once. Okay. Okay, cool. Nothing, nothing happens. It's fine. Um, it is gonna try and slam attack you though page and i'm assuming misses because it's got a six yeah that's a fair guess that it missed all right meager wait, i think we might have to wait for daniel nope one second we are slowly returning from Shadowfell. <laughs> we don't it's say the name we'll get put to there. the shadow it, it hit our whole stream you guys i don't understand why you gotta be so mean to it like it did nothing to you other than try and kill you. <laughs> Why do you gotta be mean and try to attack the bunny? I'm really trying not to attack the bunny. Like really hard. You know, I'm actually really glad you didn't make me do the D6 because I did roll a six. <laughs> Fudge because I'm trying to keep you, I'm trying to keep you alive here. Hey, I think we're good. All right. Sorry about uh, that. Meager. Uh, you're good. Okay. Uh, what in the world puppy. is going on here? Oh, puppy. Okay. Um, I can't see the shadow to the south because it's hiding, correct? Yeah. You guys cool. heard its feeling and it went and cried. Okay. Um, I am going to... Yeah, we're going to split up. I'm going to send Mini Meager over oh, no. to... The dynamic duo? Over to? Uh, over to this zombie to the south here. Um, and I'm going to use my bonus action to have him just try and like pow, pop her in the thotch for a 22. Yeah, it hits. Cool. It definitely hits. That's going to be five force damage. Okay, let me add that. Five. All right. Okay, and then Meager. Yeah, I can make it. Meager's gonna run up beside the little bunny and just say, oh, why, 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 "Why? Why? Why? You just give the zombie." Yeah, go for it. Give him an opportunity. Why attack. you do this to me, guys? I'm trying to keep you alive. Give him an opportunity attack. He's gonna miss. I was like, Meager barely been hit. Around regardless. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hang on. So let me roll for this. Uh, I mean, I probably could have just run up and run over, but yeah, go give him an opportunity to attack. It's cool. Okay. Right. Meager barely been hit. He'll be he'll be. Does, it, does yeah. a twenty three hit? Uh, <laughs> it would, but I'm going to cast shield, so now it won't. Okay, except it, the twenty three was a nat twenty. Oh, but a nat twenty mm. hits no matter what, so I'm not casting <laughs> shield. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> God, God, God. Yeah. It, okay. it just, it just does this. six bludgeoning damage. It's okay. It, it's, a zomb it's an ash zombie. Yeah, okay. there's a uh, there's a goddamn archer moment. <laughs> oh, guys. An archer. And then I'm going to try and hit that shadow that's attacking my little 
my little bunny buddy. My little bunny roo. Go for it. After getting clocked. Apparently, I can't even roll dice now. Definitely. Okay, that's going to be a 20, 25. Yeah, you hit it. Okay, I hit it for. I'm doing Booming Blade. Okay. Uh, I hit it for plus four is going to be seven magic sword damage. So it is immune to that resistance to, okay, you're good. So is that your turn? That is my turn. There's a, we can't see it, but there's like a mini meager is just in front of this. The zombie, zombie guy in the south. Hang on, I'm not looking at that screen. Give me a second. Ping it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. So he she can't get anywhere. It can't get anywhere. I don't want to judge its gender. They. They. You're okay. Right. Who's next in this combat? It is not Back that. Up. Not that. Paige. All right. This this zombie's still kicking, right? They're both still kicking. Okay. So just because he's closer to me, I am going to swing at it with quarterstaff, because why not? And that is a 21. You hit. All right. There you go. For five bludgeoning damage. How do you want to do this? I'm just going to grab, hold my quarter staff like a baseball bat and swing. Okay. Right up Candy Parkway. And it just goes <laughs> into a cloud of ash and it all falls to the ground. You it is dead. Your bonus action. <laughs> Open the chest. No, <laughs> punch more. <laughs> What would you punching like to do? Sounds, the punching sounds like a much better idea. So I am going to move over here and punch. Or... Okay. And that is a 19. Okay, you hit. And it does four more bludgeoning damage. Four more bludgeoning damage. Okay, so hang on. Where are you? Come to me. Crazy. Hey. <laughs> okay, it's looking real rough, guys. It's looking real rough. Yeah. We're at the top of the round. So, Bellinis. Bellinis. Wait. Bellinis. Hold on, wait. Did you guys skip me? Because I've only had one turn so far. We've only got I've one only turn. I've only had one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it's only one round. Me. Well, I know, but I'm saying, but if Paige... Okay, hold on. I must have lost track of them because Paige I thought... Is at the end... Oh, oh, actually, I lied. Um, it is actually Ash Zombie 2's turn. So you just hit it, Paige. Yep. <clears throat> and it's going to try and slam attack you for a 7 and completely miss. Yeah. And uh, now it's Galena's turn. Now it's my turn? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, how tall is that chest? It's oh, like... No. <laughs> See, that's like that's like a foot high, foot foot high, foot high from where I'm standing. Oh, oh no! <laughs> what what you, what you doing? Are you gonna try and jump over the chest and and stomp on this little dimwit? <laughs> Mario, it. <laughs> it's not a Goomba. Let's a go. It's a me, not Yoshi. A lady. Um, <laughs> I'm a yeah. That's, I'm not gonna try to jump over, but I am gonna use my hop to get away from the shadow. Okay. And uh, hop up onto the chest. Okay. Uh, how tall is that ash zombie? Uh, it's human size, so about five nine, maybe. So it stands taller than the chest. Yeah. So you can, uh, you're like face to face with it, Mister. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. How dare you? I'm gonna tell my mommy on you. 
<laughs> She's I swear, I'm 23 to, uh... years old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking age. So wait, are we all now technical guardians of this child? Yep. Yep. <sighs> I'm not ready for um, this responsibility. Rip the face off the zombie. You got Mini Meager okay. too. You're a single dad already. <laughs> father. Um, I'm a father a, now. Does a um, Nat 20 hit? It does. Okay. <laughs> Rude. Do it. And that's 20 acid. Right. Wow. Okay, so this Dang. zombie is dead. You just, I don't know, what, are you throwing something at it? Casting something? How do you want to kill it? Uh, no, she's using her primal savagery to and just uh, ripping just its, face so rip its head off. Just from, its face just off, yeah. So this, this nine-year-old little baby buddy just lets out a scream of rage, okay? And just goes, ah! grabs both sides of it out by the head and just rips it right out there's like a piece of spine hanging out and it's and you just you grab it you bring the face to your face and you're just like I hit you! You throw it on the ground i think i saw that at so, the academy i didn't learn just that. so you know um she is all white with red eyes <laughs> oh, oh it's a piece of from Monty Monty. python of course it is of course <laughs> hold on i was like have you guys seen the movie undercover brother <laughs> No, I, have I haven't. The yeah. reason I bring that up is it has Neil Patrick Harris in there, great and Eddie Griffin, a great cast. Toward the end of the film, Neil Patrick character's hair Neil Patrick Harris' character is high as hell, gets called a sissy, and literally rips a man's spine out from his throat. Yeah, that's, that's what you just did. That's literally what I imagined. That's that's literally what you just did. This little baby bunny just hulked out and ripped something's head off. And was just like that. No, I don't like you no more. Um, who is next? Let's see. Uh, that's uh, your turn. And that will be my turn. Come on. All right. Let's see. I don't think I see nobody from my perspective. I say I don't think. So I'm just gonna shuffle on over this way. And uh, hold Vicious Mockery in case anything pops its head out. Okay. And Brooke, don't fix it. Okay, so who is next here then? Sterling. All right, so hold on. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And just out range for the spell I was thinking of using. Oh, well. So we're just going to move up so it's direct line of sight. Well, I can't, we'll move five feet there. And we're going to Eldritch Blast the last shadow over here, the one that was not insulted to the point of hiding. Yeah, the one you can see right now. That's 24. You definitely hit it. <laughs> and that is 10 points of damage. <laughs> you just... You look at this thing, you blast it with your Eldritch Blast, and it, it disintegrates. It's gone. Yeah. It and is what's... dead. I was about to do that. I mean, oh, do no. better next oh, time, no. as, I'll say, as I shoot that, all you hear Archer going, just a tip. And then phrasing, boom. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Okay. Funny, I thought you would have said Lana. Meager. All right. I can't oh no, shadow, see. it's shadow number two. Okay. Shadow number two. Shadow number two gets right up in Sherlock's face, uh, comes back and is like, do your thing. This is where it comes. Okay, vicious mockery, wisdom say. Let's see if this works. 18. It's not okay. having any of your shit right now. No, this shadow it, it is bound in to happen. face. So about to turn like oh hey oh and then i get i get bonked yeah you get its strength drains you so oh so the bunny doesn't get but i do <laughs> there's a 13, 13 does not hit 13 does not does hit not. it does nothing 
it tries to touch you, but then it, it thinks better about it and how you made it feel, you know, and it, it, it kind of just still feel about, feels bad about itself. Um, okay, now meager. Wow, All talk right. about a shadow. Can't even it's do really anything bad. right. Oh, it goes, it, you can see little shadow tears coming out. It didn't have a face, but it made one just so, show you, just so I can show you that it's trying. All right, uh, Meager's oh, gonna. <laughs> Meager's gonna what? Wow, the Shadow created another face for me to hate. Gonna run up to the sad Shadow <laughs> and just say, "Damn it, I wanted to kill something." And uh, Mini Meager, come help me out. And the two of them are both going to take attacks on it. Uh, oh no, the combo. <laughs> Meager gets a <laughs> Meager gets a nat twenty. <laughs> it's definitely uh, gonna die go ahead he just takes out a sword whacks at it cuts it in half four uh do, do, do three math is hard plus four is that's gonna be 14 damage you guys you made you made it cry so hard it just died <laughs> like wow. it so, let meager hit it I'll because it didn't want to live anymore so meager, he capped it, and then mini meager just wrecks his face. Yeah, it, it oh. just it just was like you know what, take me, I can't. Love it. All I'm, gonna, okay. all, all I'm gonna say is, where were these rolls earlier? <laughs> they were waiting for now. All right. Like the shadows, they were hiding. <laughs> so it is dead. What would you guys so like to what's do? What's in this chest? <laughs> I want to see what's in the chest. Go open the Sam chest. here. Yeah, Sam, I want to help open it if needed. Open. I'm going to back up. Point. I'm not about yo, so but I will. It's not locked. Yeah. I was like, yeah. So you're just going to flip your... it open? Yeah, 100%. Oh, hold on. Is Bellinus <laughs> still standing on top of the. <laughs> The uh, yeah, the bunny. Still <laughs> the okay, flip it open. Like one damage. Oh, oh, let's get out there. You I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, well, are you gonna get down? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay, so are you so you opened it? Yeah, yeah I'm opening the chest. Okay, so when you open Mark the chest, distance. you see this kind of like weird folded fabric kind of leathery okay yeah, anyone is this wanna... my boomstick yeah oh can i like poke at it with my sword i was gonna, say, <laughs> I was gonna do an investigation check on it possibly Who's yeah. like, so do you want to roll or do you want to poke it who's doing what oh, i'm rolling you I'll rolled roll. to... Ar no no rolling. no you poked okay. it and you're rolling as he pokes it okay can i do an arcana check you can 16. Is anyone going to heal the bunny? Oh, guys. <laughs> I don't I, have heal spells. I think you're going to have to do it on your turn because you're still in combat. Wait, what? <laughs> God damn it. You never, oh. So oh when my. you you realize immediately that that thing's alive and as you poke it this this thing slithers out of the box, the chest. And can everyone roll me a history check real quick? I mean, I think I might have failed that class. Well, yeah, I did. Not for one. New one. Plus, stuff on hey. I have a plus five to initiate to history, but that doesn't help when you roll a one. Well, Both of us I, wow. it's totally understandable because you really, you really can't tell what it is at first. It just looks like skin until you realize that with a 12, it's wearing the suit that the butler was wearing earlier. And when it's sort of head flails around and looks at you, you notice that it is just a sack of meat. It's boneless. It's the butler. I, I, I don't think jerky. the butler did it. West and Virginia. He is My mama, take me home. Real pissed, and it's his turn. Um. So, let's see here. 
He has a multi attack. So here's what we're gonna do. Oh, son of a. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't like me because I touched his curtains. I mean, I'm. He does him not like you. I'm literally oh, no. poking him with a but sword. But he, he is going to attack Meager first with what? his slam attack. Sorry what? to say, but I don't think anybody likes Archer at this point. Does a 13 <laughs> hit? No. Okay, and he'll do his extra attack. Bring it. That's, that's a 20. Uh, a natural or is that a natural? No, not natural. Uh, me? 20. Yeah, you. It's, gonna, you you poked it. I'm gonna shield. So okay. So my art. So my nothing goes happened. Up to 25. But it is just kind of hanging there, flailing around. Um, and it is mini mini meager went. It is Paige's turn. Oh, sorry. My brain actually works. So Paige is going to come up to the chest and. She is going to use the short sword on it and hope it works. Yeah, slashing. Uh, 22. 22 hits. Oh, good. Thank and it's going to do eight slashing damage. Awesome. Points. Okay, cool. That actually does very good. Good, good. It looks at the damage. I, find, I found the dice combo that works. There you go. <laughs> Don't jinx it. All right, uh, Bellinus. So as a bonus action, I'm going to use all three of my Fae energy to heal myself. It's probably a good idea, yeah. Yeah. That will give me nine, so 12. Okay. And then I will get three temp HP because I use three die. And I will now attack this bonus human snake thing. Twenty two hit. It does. What are you attacking it with? My uh, claws with primal savagery. Okay, so that um, is slashing? No, it's acid. It's acid. Nice. Yeah, it's okay. one acid damage. Cool. What, just one? Yeah, just, just Aww. one. Flippy um, Bunny. She just died. She Flippy doesn't have a lot Bunny. of strength. It's okay. I love you so much, Flippy Bunny. <laughs> Go give you kisses and huggles. It just wants to love you. It wants to be your blanket. Oh, is it gonna be? Is it gonna be pulling that no. Lenny crap on the bunny? I don't need any more I'm going to hug crap. it and pet it. I'm going to hug it and, and pet it and love it and kill him. We are going to kill, <laughs> kill my pet. It's okay, George. Just look at the rabbit. Sure, lad. Okay, going forward, just just looking at this uh, mess. Yeah, look over. Okay, so uh, you went from old and leathery to just leathery and shitty. Gonna need vicious mockery, wisdom saving throw. How do you? Oh no, that's you. I'm rolling. I'm rolling wisdom for sure, lad. <laughs> Go home, Jessica. You're drunk. Um, it rolls. What's in, it rolled a one. It fails. It not a right, nat one. Much. So you know what? Because of, because I got a nat one, I'm gonna let you double the damage to this. Oh, good. So that makes it six instead of three. Yeah. Six psychic. So and like disadvantage on first attack. You see it. You see it like try and fix its lapels. You can't because it has like flubbery fingers. And it's just like really hurt. Like you're you're sap. No, that you don't say that. You're horrible, man. You hurt its feelings. I mean, okay. <laughs> you're. I mean, it's gonna not make like all my monsters cry or anything. Sterling. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> right. So, how's this thing looking right now? Hurt. Emotionally, mentally yeah. scarred. Emotionally scarred. Um, a little rough. 
got some slashes cut in it. You know, this was a nice suit. Got it off. I'm gonna the have rack. to sew my meat suit up now. It's kind of annoyed. <laughs> All right. Uh you know, I'm actually gonna use my action to uh, summon a short sword in my hand using pack using my pack of the blade ability. Okay. Uh and like so that's my action. That's gonna be my turn there. Okay. So meager. Okay. This is probably less effective than actually just using my weapon, but I don't care. I am going to put my sword back into my little arm slot. Okay. And I am going to hit him with the uh, iron cane that I stole from him. And I'm going to be like, hey, you're a shitty butler. And also, I stole this. <laughs> him with For a 19 plus five. I guess, you hit, depending on what I'm using to hit. Okay, go ahead. What about what am I like adding I, to it? A, make it a club. Club. Okay. So is so, that yeah. D? And it would have been an eight. That'd be D four or D three. D four. Yeah. Oh, honey, you would have done so much better with the other thing. I don't care. <laughs> the player <laughs> is three damage. No, it's, it's not. It mod? doesn't. You what? You whack this thing, and it just. Like it barely moves. Can I say that I like poke it into his face and then leave it there? <laughs> it takes it from you because next turn it's going to hit you with it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Been disarmed. Okay, so we just make sure he doesn't no make effort. it to next turn. Uh, Got hold it. On, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I say, like, I got something here. Uh, what do you think, Wackus Bonkus? <laughs> what do you think, Wackus Bonkus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Kill him. <laughs> uh, oh, he stole you my cane. Naughty wackus bonkus. <laughs> Dude, Vinny iron Vinny is for is ghosts. Wackus what bonkus. the fuck? Well, I wanted to see what would happen. And I stole it from him. Mini Meager. Mini Meager is going to whack at him for a plus math. Uh, 11 plus 5 is 16. Okay, that hits. Does. What type of damage are you doing with him? Force. Force. Okay, yeah, go. And that does get rolled a one. Three damage. So he actually okay, gets to do the bit. three damage, but you don't. This thing still has its cane, and it's like, it's, 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 it's like, it doesn't attack this way, but it, for you, it'll make an exception. It's teeing Bring up. It. It's wrapping its arm around it so that it can still <laughs> fucking hit you with it. I'm trying to piss it off. I want it to attack just me. Let's go. Come on. Paige. I was supposed to be the one that everything hates, not Krieger or Meager. Oh, my God. Look, this is an AU. Things aren't the same. <laughs> it's okay. People can hate multiple people. You don't what have you doing? Slots. You have spell well, slots. Paige has learned that the short sword does something, so... That is going to be a 23 to hit. With you hit it. Sword. Yeah, you hit it. Try that again. For five slashing damage. Ooh, how do you want to do it? So. You're so lucky. It was <laughs> it was like tying its, itself in a knot so that it doesn't lose this cane to hit you. Sorry, looks like you're losing it anyway. And just stabs the freaking thing and slap you and slashes the the suit apart. Yeah, just right in half, it falls into yep. pieces onto the floor. And you guys are out of combat. All right. Is anything else gonna try and kill us? Yes. How about out of combat. you go try to open the door? Meeker's gonna take back his cane. Just so, be like, so was there anything fine, else in the you. chest? Are you gonna look? Yes. Okay. Looking to. Okay. So in the chest, you find <laughs> two healing potions. Hey. I'll take it. <laughs> They're regular healing potions. Two D four plus two. So all in favor of the bunny drinking it so it doesn't die. Okay. So you're both. Um, the the bunny looks very happy and good. 
Yeah, the, the bunny, bunny just is healing. Fine. That was it. I'm at. So who's keeping the halfling? Hold on. I'm taking one. Okay, who's taking the other? Uh. Didn't I mean, I'm, Archer I'm go down like twice? Three times. One to the least. So one Archer's to gonna Archer. take the other one. I've, I've I've gone down at least three times. Twice to the specter, once to uh, the mimic. Yeah. You think with the, with those three near death experiences, you tried to be more likable. Okay, so <laughs> so I'm Paige, gonna here. Take, take my drink potion. Page and Archer, <clears throat> heads or tails? Heads. Okay. Tails. <laughs> okay. Either so way, one of us wins. Like, why do I feel like I'm gonna regret this? <sighs> My choice. So, not too bad. Paige, you took the potion. Yes, I did. Okay, cool, cool. Can you give me... <sighs> Fuck, guys. Stop drinking things. <laughs> oh, well, oh, no, I didn't say I was drinking. You're I fine. Was you're, you're fine, okay? I'm pa- it you failed. Fuck. Paige failed the roll. Can you give me a, a constitution saving throw, please? Oh, well, oh, when no. you said take, I thought you meant like take and have it in my inventory. Nat not 20! Drink it. Nat wow. 20, okay. So. I'm yeah. just going to move closer to the group so I can heal if necessary. <laughs> so you take three poison damage. You know what? I'm going to, okay, you take the three poison damage, but because it was a nat 20, you immediately vomit up the potion. And you notice that it's swiggling and moving. And the bottle that you just took it from, that's secured too. You just swallowed a mimic potion. But so looking at the the ground. It's it's dying. It needs a host. What but I was about to say, uh, Cthulhu is not happy with you. But yeah, on a nat 20, I'm definitely allowing you to vomit it up right away and only take three poison damage. Dang it, Paige. You almost could have became Venom. So close. That was, that was so rude. <laughs> Mini Meager, squish. Mini Meager's just going to go jump on the thing. <laughs> Look, there's your Mario. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's the Pixar logo. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Oh, guys, so that's it for this room. You can try and leave because we're going to do this trap properly. Uh, any more viscous material? There is nothing left. In okay, um, I'm going to go poke at the door. Just mm-hmm. Investigate it, partly by poking. Yeah, I was, okay. I'm going to be right here. So I'm just going to move over here, and I'm going to heal Paige Wait. with a cure wounds. I appreciate it very much. Did the door say stop Okay, stopped you're that? lucky, Max. I don't know. So Did the getting, door say stop that? You're getting 11. Oh, the nieces that are hopping to the chest. The tickles. I am the finally tickles. at full health. Thank you very much. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> the, the door is talking to me. <laughs> What's it say? Stop it. <laughs> Matt, can't you um, hear it? Wait, the door? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Cut it out. Um, Phrasing. You're muted, Alistair. I am. You were. I didn't hear. I, I didn't hear. Oh, okay. I totally did not hear that. What did you say? Okay. Common. What language is it speaking? It's speaking common. Hey, hey door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Open up. Time for me to do my job. Okay. Phrasing. What? What? I just what walk we... up. Oh, okay. And I'm just gonna. Let my armor fall a little bit. Let the waistcoat drop. So, uh, can you let me by? I have somewhere to be. Take it off, baby. Take it all off. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I can't open. When the door says the key oh. on the knees in uh, Draconic, it's going to start just cussing at it. Oh, you're, you're speaking Draconic to it? Yes. I don't speak that. I'm a door. Hey, wait, but I back do, to the and sexy I just start chuckling. in front of me. Oh no, wait. If they say that they don't speak that because they're a door, I'm like, if you're a door, should should you be talking at all? Well, that was rude, you know. Sometimes we have feelings, we just want to have so conversations what, with people. What is your name? My name? It's Dora. Yes. 
Hi, Dora. Nice to meet you. Hi, sexy. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm fine. You are fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, for anyone, so how did a nice door end up in a place like this? You What's know, this door made of? Sorry. It is made of stone. You guys roll me a history check. Really? It's kind of stonewalling us here. Oh, <laughs> but I'm. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about okay. that. Okay, so you right. remember that on, on the top of the door, there is a word in Infernal. It's nevermore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But right now, it's made of stone. You have a talking door. Seems to be really hitting it off for sure, lad. Wait a minute. You said you needed a key, right? I do. Otherwise, I can't open for you. You're a smart one. And Paige pulls out the, the key that was a, that she picked up earlier. This Where are you going to stick that? Phrasing. If you... and, this thing, and, and I'm saying this in character, by the way, that not meta in character. Boom. Ha. Huh? <laughs> there's no, <laughs> there's no, <laughs> see, there's no keyhole, remember? Right. Well, I'm not that sure. smart. I have a so, plus zero intelligence. I got an 18 mm -hmm. in the check. Did it, do I remember the word and everything? Yes, you remember the word. It's never more. I, mean, I remember saying never more in Inferno when it opened. So. Yeah. Never more? Oh, guys, so close. So close. I don't know what word he said to open the door. So oh, I'm he said say, nevermore. Oh, shit. Yeah. Dora saying that? And then the door opens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and to going to by, say I just. You said to get the door to say the word. Along the door. You feel the door shiver. <laughs> <laughs> As uh, Belenice walks by, because she is disgusted with this door, she is going to slash at it as she walks through. I was going to say, oh. Cover the child's eyes. Rude. Kids, Acid. what can you do? Kids, jeez. Okay, so uh, you guys want to go back upstairs? Yeah. Nothing else down here? Yeah, you might well move up. Unless you want more here. wine for the drinkers. You know what? Actually, yeah, I want to, I want to test my luck again. <laughs> let's, let's see if I can get a better cast this time. What, what have you All learned right, about viscous materials in your body? Oi, yo, yo. Let's try this again. Archer's got to have something at this point. Roll for me. You drank vinegar earlier. Right? No, I didn't drink vinegar. I opened a cask and it smelled like vinegar. I didn't drink it. But I did roll a five. You found another... You know what? As you open this one, it looks like wine. It really does. Oh, and God. when you like take a sniff of it, the house is just like, go fuck yourself and turns it to vinegar. Because yeah, that's what you deserve it for not <laughs> learning your damn lesson. <laughs> uh, oh she's gonna walk up to it with her hands oh out in like a bowl and go. It turns back to wine. Please, can I have some? <laughs> it turns, it turns oh no, back to no, wine. At, no. At this point, Archer's gonna say two things. One, uh, what is this? Uh, a Sunday in a dry county, or and then two. Eat a bag of dicks, basement. You, you know what's really weird is that these, these um bottles of wine, these caskets of wine are oh, really precariously stacked, and and one of them starts to roll towards you. It's really weird. It falls off another one and just. Can you make me a deck save? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seven. Seven. You take one point. You take one point of bludgeoning damage as it hits you in the forehead. You gonna give the customary ooh woo for that? <laughs> ooh woo! You take one point of bludgeoning damage for being stupid. <laughs> oh. <sighs> All right, Archer. I think we figured out not to insult the house. House is <laughs> house is sensitive. All right, so we're gonna put I'm, you back. I'm the actually wondering if this house might be a mimic. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't That's give her idea. It's already done. there if it is. 
All okay. right. So do you guys see yourselves? Gotta move the player tag. I did. The player bookmark. I did. Uh-huh. You're on the main floor? No, nah, it's just on me. I'm still oh, in the basement. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm still, still in the basement. basement. I'm in the basement. One second. Maybe I need to refresh. It was giving me Down weird by the river. things. Um, what are you doing? Right now, I'm happy that I'm alive. Okay, so I that... talked with the door. The door was very turned on. <laughs> all right. Does there that work? Yep. Okay. Yes. So and all we got left is this now to go to the next floor. There's I mean, did we open the double doors in the foyer? Actually, yeah. No, I was like, no, we haven't yeah. done the double doors yet. I forgot Let's about do those. The double doors. I mean you can. You don't have to. You can. I'll Meeker open. wants to. He's gonna go like right in the way of them. Okay. Oh, like, Stay behind me. No, hold on. Hey Meager, you wanna kick the door at the same time? That oh my god, both of you at the same time. Dope. That's what all she right. said. <laughs> Crazy. Boom. Okay, so can I get you guys lined up in front of it the way yeah. you guys is are off this, to the side? Okay. Is, that oh, is this, is. Is this the door right exactly. here? Or is yep, the door that's here? where the door is. Uh, so you're going to kick it open. Can you guys give me it's fucking open, guys. So you just, just go ahead. Go ahead. Kick. Just kick. Right. Yeah, no, just kick in the door. Okay. Oh, sorry. This is taking Ooh, a little baby. bit longer. Because, you know, this went so well the last time. Right? It's like you don't fucking learn. So as you I need I need four deck saves, please. Four? Two from each of you. Me. Wait, four? Two from each of you. <laughs> oh okay. Okay. I'm just Probably walking wanted. this from here. Like, oh, this is happening. Yep. I'm oh. off to the side. Oh. I got a nineteen on the first one. And a seven on the second. Okay, so uh, you Fort- dodge the first book that comes flying out at you, but the say, second I- one gets you straight in the forehead, and you take a D4 of damage. Hold on. I'll say- roll it. Yeah, you roll Jeez. it. Go ahead. I got, I got a uh, 14 on my first deck save, a okay. 3 on my second. So, um, hang on. <laughs> you fail both. You just, <laughs> <laughs> you just got hit twice. Oh, I'm doing this. I do have my video up. So, do you want to oh. roll uh, 2d4 for me? Yeah, I mean, with my luck, uh, actually, hopefully I roll low like I've been doing most of the night. <laughs> I only rolled one damage, by the way. Okay. Nope, I, I, that's a seven. Oof. <laughs> Damn. Damn. You take seven bludgeoning damage by yep. getting hit from these books. Good thing I haven't drank in that health potion yet. Is it a health potion? <laughs> we could do it. True. I had you roll. We did heads and or you tails. You can always roll again. <laughs> um. So, stop giving her swing. ideas. <laughs> <laughs> so you're looking into this room, yes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. for now. Okay. So let's see what we have inside the room. Are wall-to-wall bookshelves? They're massive. They reach the very top of the room, um, and they touch the ceiling. There's another rug on the floor two very comfortable looking chairs. And on top of it is a nice wooden coffee table between them. Can you guys roll me an investigation or perception check? That's a nat one. Okay. Is that, is that it? That's a nat 20. Okay. <laughs> For 25. Come on. <laughs> so you're like, all oh, night, books. All night. And Archer, is just, Archer is dumber than a bag of bricks today. He's not, though. Jeez, like... Just today. He's not paying wait, attention that's to why this. the sector winked when you told him to eat a bag, a bag of dicks. That's why. <laughs> oh, no. You Hold were... on. Hold on. I would say, we can, we can blame this on Archer being sober. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> um, meager. You go through the bookshelves. You start noticing that all the books look identical, except they all have a different name on them. So they're black books with their spines engraved in gold. And it's a different name, um, person's name. And 
you actually end up finding Edgar Allan's name on a book. Hmm. Hmm. I would like to take that book. Um, do I see Lenore's name? Do you see Lenore's name? Uh, that is going to require another investigation check. Can I give advantage? You can. Okay. Can I give guidance? You can. Okay. So if you make a mistake, this is on you. Yeah, seriously. So I got to roll the d4. And here's d4. It's not the metal dice for these. That is, with advantage, 18. Three on the bless puts me at a 21, plus five gives me a 26. You do find Lenore's book. Okay. I'm going to take that one out as well. And I'm going to kind of lay them out on the coffee table and just be like, uh, guys, maybe come on in here. I found something strange. And oh, you mean stranger than everything else we've seen in this godforsaken place? What yes, are you going to do? Actually, there's books with Edgar Allen's and Lenore's names on them. Oh, do they have my name there? I'm famous, you know. Your name is not. They're in only there. famous in the brothels. But since you guys have rolled so well, you do notice that there are five blank books stacked on the table. Oh, I think they want to trap us in here in these books. All what right. are you going to do? Are you reading them? Are you leaving them there? I'm sitting here and uh, paying attention. Because I am not wanting us to get locked in the door. Can I get to those books without stepping on the rug? You can. <laughs> I took them both out. They're like the laid out on the... I'll, 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 <laughs> I'm wondering if I should continue to test my luck. I'm, Mika's I gonna, mean, it hasn't worked out for considering you Considering how your luck is going, don't. <laughs> Mika's going to open the Lenore book. Okay. And see what it says inside. Where are you looking? In the book. First page, middle. Table of contents. Uh, I'm gonna, and... yeah. I'm, is there a table of contents? No. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read. It starts off as a story. Okay, I want to read the last page. You want to read the last page? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I want to know how the story ends. You want to find out. out. Jim Bob I want to find out how she died. Oh, full she Fahrenheit died. 451 on these books. Oh. I am very much, I'm holding a dagger over the Edgar Allan one, just like, just in case. As you. I mean, I don't think book. we unlit the torches. <laughs> no, we never did. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Guys. A mimic? Don't be a mimic. Is it a mimic? I need everyone. <laughs> God damn to it. roll for initiative. God, Here we go. As we, we get go. to the big boss fight right now. Oh, oh, oh I did Road. not expect you to roll a nat 20. Okay. Um, oh. And there were things upstairs that would have helped you. Of course. Okay. okay. Sorry, guys. So, uh, I have a 12. Well, it was an archer. Why are you not selecting? Uh, I, I I rolled a five. Okay. Archer, why? Fuck, you guys really needed that shit from upstairs. But we have the bunny. We have the baby bunny. Uh -huh. Baby bunny is proven effective. <laughs> As you read the final pages of this book, a female's voice starts to read the last sentences with you. And right in between you guys appears Lenore. Wait, what? That Lenise is that I try to hug Lenore. <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. Happy me... to see her alive. Oh fuck. Roll me. Roll me a charisma check. Uh, wait, wait. In that case, Before that happens, can I use my last bardic for this? Yes. Okay. okay. I'm assuming I can't. Can I cast charm person as I go to hug her? 
Ooh. Let me read this thing. And real quick. save wisdom. I'm wasting my last botic on this. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm assuming Jeez I can't drink the, the love potion. Of God. I was like, I'm assuming I can't drink the potion right now before this happens. <laughs> drink the potion. You have. You, Thank you. you what drink the do? potion. What am I rolling for? It? So no, you're 2D good. Two D four plus two. Oh, two D two D two. It's two D four plus two. Thank you. Yeah. So. Two D four plus two. Can you I'm, be? I'm gonna drink my potion too. Wait, did you say two D four plus four or plus two? Plus, plus two. two. Go plus ahead four. and chart cast your spell as you hug her. Okay. So it's a wisdom save. Yes. Holy fucking shit. Nat one. Stuff. Okay. <laughs> My Way charisma is a 22. <laughs> Wait, how the hell is it that high? So, <laughs> Lenore's really happy to have this baby buddy hug her, and she just bends down and picks it up and cuddles it real nice. And it's like, well, aren't you a darling? I'm gonna, and, um, it I'm gonna turns back out away. That, that uh, what uh, what did you say to her? I'm so glad you're alive. I'm so glad you're alive. I am so happy we found you. I'm so glad you came looking, darling. But you know you shouldn't be here, right? Well, we had to find you. We love you. Oh, and I love you, honey bear. You know what, though? I think I should let you go home. Your mama must be worried about you. (laughs) And she's walking to the door with Belinus in her arms. The lights are going out behind her as she walks. Are you guys going to follow her? I'm going to leave, yes. Is that the only thing that came out of the book? That is the only thing that came out. You read her book. She appeared. Okay. I'm going to regret this. Can I take Edgar Allan's book with me? You can. Okay. I'm taking Edgar Allan's book with me. Okay. So she is going to bring Belinus to the door. All right. Where is my ending here? Where is that? Okay. Uh, Here's what's about to happen. All right. Belinus, Paige, Sherlad, and Archer, you, she opens the door and ushers you out. You all walk out meager as you go to leave with Edgar Allen's book in your hand. She grabs you by the neck, throws you backwards, and slams the door. Oh, I don't want to wait. Let's just go. <laughs> Here we go. So. Do we hear Doberman? Outside. You, the, the four of you that are outside, the only way to describe what happens right now is time skips and reality resets itself. You blink and you find yourself standing in an open field with nothing around it. No oh. houses, no town, just wilderness. Like it was, like there was never anything here at all. That was weird. And you guys now have to walk home. <sighs> meager mm-hmm. and mini meager. <laughs> Lenore turns on you. And before you can even blink, has her teeth sunk into your neck, ripping your head from your shoulders. As you die, you hear a heartbeat in your ears. Gets louder and louder and louder. And, but instead of like fading away, because that's what you would think would happen when you die, sound fades away. It gets to the point where everything is ringing. A rhythmic bump, the bump, the bump takes over your senses. And 
keeps going until you become one with it. Your body begins to get sucked into the floor, becoming one with the house, with the town really, with, with her. And suddenly all you want to do is please her. You were so entertaining, so nourishing. When will it be your turn? When will it be your turn to find her a victim? To feed the house, to help the family grow. You aren't sure, but you know that when it is your turn, you will outdo yourself and it will be grand and spectacular and so much better than a haunted house. And that is the story of Rooksbury and it will never be seen, never more. It will, sorry, I screwed the last fucking line up. And that is the sound of Rooksbury and the detective Meager to be seen never more. <laughs> that's it still still good yeah so uh make sure you bring a library card whenever you want to take books out of that house <laughs> you fucking rock that i can't believe she rolled a nat one way to go dad pool <laughs> jeez i mean that was amazing i just love how archer went down Three times, and yeah. Meager's the one who dies. GG, oh, no. guys. No, no, you know what's hilarious? I had I barely 22 took damage. Points. I barely oh, took are you damage. a kleptomaniac? <laughs> <laughs> Every time we find something, you try and steal it. You try and steal the cane. You try and steal the book. <laughs> I clearly, I made it clear to you guys, like, just don't take the shit in the house. <laughs> I want it. I want to learn about it. What? Holy crap! Peter wants to know what's going on in this. I can't. You house. completely avoided the BBEG and the mini boss. Well done. I don't even know what to say. That was. It was the cute baby bunny. Thankful. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this like it. Way to go, Dad. Fool. That was awesome. Yeah. I don't that think it would have worked. Stupid decision saved us from yeah. a level fifteen vampire. So many times. <laughs> It kept us alive so many times. So glad you got turned into a little baby. <laughs> and there we have it. So um, uh, that was the game. That was my first time DMing. Um, I hope it wasn't terrible. You were uh, awesome. Guys you had fun. Good. You, you did a really good job overall. Did you have fun? Can you let That's her know that she fun? was awesome at DMing? Just let her know. I'm really glad that you guys I'm, had fun. Yeah, I would say, check. Blow her up. I mean, this is our first time DMing a game, especially with yeah. us psychos. Seriously. I'm amazed. <laughs> I'm amazed that, that I was able to at least keep up with you, to be honest. Yeah, um, with the craziness you give yourself too little credit. Come on. Would you guys like to uh, say goodbye and tell people where they can find you and who you played again? We'll start with uh, The Speed of Candy. All right. Hello, everybody. I'm The Speed of Candy, Dan. Uh, you can find me on various internet places, mostly TikTok, although I really need to get back onto that. And also here on D in Denial, which is the channel that I run with Ice Me Stars, our amazing DM who did a fantastic job. Um, yeah. Uh, Deadpool. Um, Deadpool on both TikTok. Yeah, that's it now. And uh, the Lethargic Monkey on Twitch. Okay. Um, Celtic Wyvern King. So I'm Kellen, as you said, I'm the, uh, also known as the Celtic Wyvern King. That's my handle on TikTok and here on Twitch. Uh, I played Sterling Archer, though Grant kind of wish I had more Archer moments. That's mainly me missing most of them or someone beating me to the punch, which is fine. <laughs> you, can't, you can't do that to did, me. I did you have everything. fun? Hey, That's I the you good. I didn't blame you. Don't worry. You did a great job. Uh, and I'll say you guys will also see me on uh, one of the first Mayhem episodes in November. Don't know what I'm playing yet, but I will be on Mayhem here on D&D Nile. I'm excited! Yeah, Alistair I still need Ross. to make that character. Yeah, just uh, Alistair here. I played Char, Shalad. I mean, bards have to have multiple names. But <laughs> I will be back here hopefully next Friday, D&D Denial. We'll see. Fingers crossed. We don't know. But uh, yeah. Have a good and night, everybody. Crazy game, lady. 
I have been the Crazy Gamer Lady, as I always am on TikTok. I have played Paige Button, the angry Bostonian halfling. <laughs> and I hope to see y'all later. And I was your DM. Uh, I go by Icy Stars online. You guys can find me in places like TikTok and Instagram and stuff. And that's all I have to say. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Not everyone, thanks for coming out. <laughs>